Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Keeping Candles Mysterious. We are Lawful Stupid RPG, and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play some of the Candle Keep Mysteries module with a few additions. My name is Buddy, and I'm helming this adventure while our normal Saturday night game, Cold Hard Witch, is on hiatus. Let's see who we have with us tonight, shall we? I think it's a full crew. We have Ben playing Sledge, the Sator Chronergy Wizard. Amy playing Riala, the Asimar Life Cleric. Z playing Raven, the Elf Mercy Monk. Panda playing Aerith, the Elf Psy Warrior Fighter. Grindy playing Gin, the Elf Soul Knife Rogue. And Pixie playing Narcissus, a Sorcerer Eloquence Bard. How is everyone tonight? Well, how about yourself, bud? I'm good. So, so excited. So I mean, this is <laughs> this is the the last night of this cycle. So will it be uh, will it be good? Will it be bad for everybody? I don't know yet. Not afraid at all. That good. sounds like we should put a prediction in. <laughs> People think we'll survive or Gotta not? Get a pool going. Yeah, let's do yeah. that. So, is everyone ready to get into what should be the finale of this adventure? So Bring ready. <laughs> so ready. Yes. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Last week, our party continued tying up loose ends by eradicating more of the attackers of Candlekeep. They questioned one of them for some time, but she did not know the whereabouts of their leader, Soren. While discussing what they know, a strong sense of being scried upon came over everyone. Moving to the town to get more answers, they chatted with the locals for a bit. They were able to get a description of the mysterious René, who seems to be keeping Quill's attention these days. Riala told them of the play written in the book, which is a fictionalized retelling of Quill's life. Retiring to the inn for a well-needed long rest, the group had a very strange and very intense shared dream. They saw the bodies of the townsfolk, though not quite as they expected. They also saw a creature of some kind with many eyes on tentacles. Party of mine, you have finished your long rest. You are awake. And judging by uh, what you just heard uh, Ulrich say and looking out the, the, the window, it seems as though you've slept into the early afternoon. Oh, what time is it? Oh, oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, I had the uh, strangest dream. Yeah, I, uh, I was being stared at, and uh, for once I didn't like it. Ugh. A big, creepy. Thing, lots of eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, and it, and 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 it was very scary and freaky. And we just poofed back here. And the 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 townsfolks they they were um, like made out of wood and, and almost painted. Is yes, like yes, dead. like puppets. Oh. And we were like trapped in this thing. Wow. <clears throat> so, we all had you know, this dream then? So it would seem. What dream are you? What dream are you talking about? All I remember was. Well, almost all of us. You probably didn't uh, dream did at all. Dream? Did I die? I felt like I died. You might feel better if you had died. Uh. See, Dolores, this is why I do not drink. Uh, uh, you, you did. You did very well, but uh, <clears throat> uh, they were drinking and, and you were drinking and, well, there well there was a lot of drinking and next thing we know, you weren't feeling so well. Well, surprisingly, I feel very good now, but I just don't remember anything from yesterday anymore. Last I know, I, well, I was not myself. <laughs> You don't remember anything from yesterday? Not after you killed that man. 
I will then hand him back the manacles that I borrowed off of her and just <laughs> hand them back with a wink. <laughs> <laughs> she starts blushing a lot. And it's just like, I, I hope I performed admirably. You, you did great. You did great. Um, I don't think that was a dream that we all had. I think that was real. Um, I could be wrong, but I, 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 it felt very real to me. I don't know. I, I look down at this. I'm still, still wearing my uh, uh, robe of many eyes I was, I was, that I showed uh, again since we were talking about, you know, things that look around. Um, uh, in the shared dream or out-of-body out experience or whatever you want to call it, uh, I wasn't wearing this, so maybe... Either it was something from earlier, or something we already had forgotten, just remembered. I don't know. Does anybody know I anything about so. much, much about the beholders and you know, big, big eyeball things? Um, <clears throat> I, I think I recall reading, uh, or <laughs> to be more correct, uh, looking at pictures of round things. Um, let's see. Do I recall? call anything and to you buddy uh do i recall anything uh from perhaps my arcane uh studies or i will say uh, make a make a, an arcana check or a history check your choice okay okay can i uh, also make a history check as like maybe i heard stories as i was going about the taverns performing sure yeah, like you still think maybe they're a little bit around the bend, though, that maybe they just got really drunk together. So. Uh, right. say, okay, a 24 from from Sledge. Mine didn't come up through, but it was also a 24. Hey. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, you absolutely remember some things. Are they, they're they all amazing, right? <laughs> they're they're and, bad. They're, uh, what you remember oh. is very bad. Uh, you know that they are they are exceedingly paranoid and they are they're they're very watchful and they're always plotting and always planning and um and it it's difficult to get anything past them because they all they do is sit and think. Um you know that they have incredible mind powers um maybe even intruding into dreams or drawing people into dreams and things um you know that the the eyes are typically each different eye has a different magical effect that it can it can produce uh but you do know that those they vary from eye to eye and even from beholder to beholder um, I will uh, relate uh, this information, obviously, to to the group, um, and then at the end, uh, as I'm I'm getting to, <clears throat> and all those eye stocks, well, each one, uh, well, it looks at you differently, and um, and to the soul sometimes. Now, knowing that these beings are so uh, watchful and uh, I'm wondering, I don't think that it was the Harper's intention that this, this creature, uh, be here. Do you think that it was uh, created or it, it came in of its, of its own, uh, and now has just sort of, well, had a playground here? Um, <clears throat> I, I just don't know why it would be here. You guys, from, from the, the strange effects that you had been noticing in the previous day when you were outside, you, you can see out the window that the <clears throat> the storm clouds that roll in every so often have rolled in. To the sky has turned very dark, and you see flashes of, of lightning and stuff. Uh, please continue. I just wanted to throw that out there. Riala, is there a beholder in this story? No, there was no creature that matched what I saw in the dream in the in the play. But also, the, I think it's unfinished. I think we're in the final act now. So who knows what we could be up against? 
Um, the Hapa lady or the candle keep lady said that the actual city of Wist- or town of Wisteria Vale was destroyed. Um, do we think that this is the actual town that has been teleported, uh, been turned into a demi plane or a representation of it? And if either one, do we think that the dis- these beholder? Which I am starting to think that maybe it was. A, you did actually have a weird dream while I was knocked out, but like. You'll have fun with that. It's not very fair. Um, <laughs> do we think that oh, maybe. You had plenty of fun, trust us. <laughs> well, I uh, you notice that Riala's armor is very shiny. I mean, it is, it is buffed to a. A lovely, shape. oily sheen. <laughs> With some tufts of hair locked. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right, oh. In the, right in the shoulder joint, there's some chest hair. <laughs> Just... Oh, Just a no. <laughs> uh, if Narcissa sees this, she would walk over and just use prestidigitation to get rid of all the... the... satyrs. This is why it is better to stay away from him when he has been with the animals. <laughs> wow. Um, the, uh, I call him Little Pony Boy, and it is not because he is a satyr. The, uh, the, the clouds continue to roll. The lightning continues outside. But something that you have not experienced yet is a just a, a fantastically loud crack of thunder and a and a huge the the window just lights up huge almost almost burning your eyes and um as you're hearing it comes back a little bit you you hear screams and cries uh outside of the inn <sighs> we should see what that's about right yeah Yes, definitely. Let's go. I will like grab my things really quick and and head out. Okay. Just sl- sledge. As you're, as you're like you were rambling on stuff about the uh, beholders, could they do anything to people inside a dreamlike state? As I look at you know the one who was zapped. Hmm. Yes, and uh, Sledge looks over at Riala. Uh, she did get hit, didn't she? Hmm. Are you having this conversation alone? Uh, I assume that Raven had pulled, or right before uh, people were exiting the uh, tiny hut, I would assume. Uh, tiny, hut, tiny hut's gone. Tiny hut's okay. been gone. All right, all right, all right. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Um, oh, I thought that's where we had exited. So yeah, no. Well, I, I, the remember it only lasts eight hours, and so you guys got your rest oh, and and, went, and and okay. have slept through it disappearing, and it is in the the early afternoon. My water wheel spinning bed is no longer here. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, I mean, I would assume that we're kind of on the tail end of the group as they walk out, um, and. Uh, uh, thinking about that and knowing from the dream <clears throat> that uh, this uh, eye beam had struck Riala, um, would I have any inkling if if stuff like that carries over from dream state to? Uh, I mean, it's certainly possible. This is kind of based on your 24 earlier. Um it, it, it certainly is possible. You know that that dream state doesn't just exist as something that isn't real. That that there are many things, you know, night hags and things like that that can certainly get into people's dreams and and mess with them. Hmm. Uh, we should probably uh, should probably ask um, as we're making our way out towards the the sound. Um, if we have time, right before we get there, you know, Sledge would, uh, Riala, uh, I know we shared that dream, but uh, are you feeling okay that uh, whatever it was, well, it it stared at you very hard. I feel fine. Why are you asking? Well, it, 
it, well, it appeared like you were like you were struck in the dream. Uh, I'm just making sure that the uh, well, everything is very strange here, and I'm just making sure you're okay. Oh, yes, I'm fine. Are you fine? Huh? You know it. Uh, well, okay, okay. Uh, now, what was that sound? Uh, and sort of at that point, Sledge is is feeling much better, you know. Um, uh, and we'll continue to head towards the sound. Okay. And the rest of you as well head down downstairs toward the sound. All right. Putting you guys on the map. And uh, this is, we're back kind of in the center of this map at the, the town square. Um, you see that the, this tree that is just outside the um the end where you've been staying it is just it, it took a full on hit from lightning at the base and has has fallen over and apparently has killed one of the villagers uh you see someone just with his head completely smashed in by the tree and you see people around just gasping and crying and 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 trying to figure out what what is happening and would like to investigate the dead person to see if he is realistically dead or if he's more like the people in the dream. Absolutely. Please make an investigation check. Okay. Twenty-one. He is kind of almost the spitting image of the 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 wooden mannequin type things that you had seen uh in the dream and uh, so uh i'm gonna move you over to to here so you you look and, and you see daphne who you had been talking to last night with, with everyone as you're down looking at him you let yourself side eye up a little bit and she she seems kind of in a state between that like like she looks real when you look at her, but if you just kind of side glance a little bit, there definitely are aspects of her that seem to be kind of like the the the, the wooden mannequins as well. Hmm. At this point, Gen would just openly say to the others, it "Wasn't just in the dream. The people here aren't real." This narcissus will start having not entirely gone this from when they were talking about it. She'll just turn to go. What do you mean the people are not real? That makes sense. It's it's because this whole place is just it's a fantasy made to keep Quill here. None is of there, this is real. Is there a villager nearby that is alive by chance? Sure. There's Ulrich, there's Matilda, there's Trina, there's Evie, there's Henrietta. There's Daphne. There's, there's lots. To kill somebody to test it. Whoever, who, whoever, <laughs> whoever is that. the closest to me, I'm just gonna grab them <laughs> and slit their throat. Uh, I just said, yeah. don't do. That. Yeah. So uh, if if you look on the the, you should be able to see on the map there. You can slide right in front of Raven, and uh, you could you could take a swing at at uh, at Ulrich. Your uh, who seems You're like the least host. the least important NPC here? <laughs> I, I am Who's wearing to... a red shirt? Go for uh, the grumbly guy who was so annoyed about all the Which one's that? Is that Ulrich? No, um What was his name? <laughs> Where are you, grumbly man? Where are you? Um <clears throat> He was well... with the tiefling lady. <laughs> Oh, I can't remember. Morlan? I don't know. You know what? Screw it. Ulrich, get get your ass over here, boy. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll slit his throat, see what happens. Uh alright, please make an attack roll. She's more doing it to like prove a point to oh, that, that, <laughs> that one. That... <laughs> You uh you go to stab him and and rather than rather than react in in fear or or anger at you 
he just puts his arms around you and goes, Oh, my dear, I know these things, that they hardly ever happen here. I, I, just, I, I, just, I don't even know what to say. And, and he is genuinely trying to console you. Yeah, these things are definitely not real humans. No real person would do that. She's like pointing as she's like holding him back. Like, <laughs> no, this isn't real. No one does this. Um... And- and she'll actually, she'll pull away and actually sheath her weapon. Now she's been hugged by him. She feels weird about <laughs> killing him now. So she's actually going to push him away. Like, thanks. Oh, uh-huh. uh, but I just saw Raven move up. So I don't think it's going to be good for long. Uh, Sledge, please continue with what you were going to say. <laughs> uh, um, before Raven, you know, <laughs> go so Raven. Um, coming up to where uh, Gen is... Um, this uh, Daphne, uh, f- the wounds, are they, um, uh, I mean, do they look like real wounds or do they look like, are there splinters in there? Are there, you know, is there anything in there that would denote like not being made of uh, flesh and bone? On on whom? On uh, The one that is downed on currently. S- Stannis? Daf- uh, Daphne here? Stannis. Oh, Daphne. sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. I see it now. I I may not have him set to display. Um, the uh, I mean, it, it looks as though he was just kind of crushed by uh, uh player permission C save settings. Okay, now you should be able to see his name. Um, it, it 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 just it looks as though his his kind of head and and upper torso were were crushed by this this tree, and they've managed to drag the tree kind of off of him um there there it, it there's not pools of blood there's not flesh any hanging. coloring like any coloring change with the tree as we have noticed before um, uh like no no the tree okay, the tree okay. looks like a looks like a regular tree that took a lightning bolt at the base okay lightning doesn't normally hit the base Mm. Hmm. So, uh, looking back at uh, the awkward hug uh, that just happened, and uh, uh, Aerith, if, if you don't mind, um, uh, Ulrich, you, you said this doesn't happen often. Um, by the way, you trying to stab him completely just went over Sledge's head. Like, you know, he, he, he was like, I guess she needed a, a hug. Um, and uh, you said this doesn't happen often. Um, when, or did there used to be more town members? Um, and uh, by that, I mean, uh, have you noticed that the, uh, the amount of people that visit your inn has drastically dropped off recently or uh, anything along those lines. Hmm. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, son. Uh, no, uh, we, we've always been a very, just a very small town. It, uh, it, it, uh, this, uh, this is just, this is just awful. Oh my goodness. I, I just, we, we'd better, we let's, let's get him out of the dirt and and to somewhere a little more a little more a little more dignified and he he seems to sidestep your question a little um but the, the some of the villagers come you know come over toward him and uh and you know they begin to make preparations to to move him hmm and as these people are walking up uh, given the dream and the information um, from Gen, are we? Is it, or am I able to tell? Sledge able to tell if these people are in various states of this change from being like sort of painted or real or make an investigation check, make a perception check. Sorry, <laughs> a skill I'm even worse at. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Come on, seven. Uh, you notice that they could all use they they all need a tan. They need to they need to get in the gym, and then just work out this grief. Sledge is disgusted by the lack of bronzing 
uh, happening here. <laughs> this is, oh, oh. Um, okay. Sledge lives by the rule. If you can't tone it, ton it. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright pending. Um, <laughs> They're going to bring him over to bring, bring him inside the inn and uh, probably take him upstairs and, and lay him in repose. Um, so you've got just another kind of few seconds here of interaction before they are all going to go into the inn. Well, is there, I think the, the mansion here to the North is, is probably our next destination. Um, but is there anything else that we need to know? I mean, we did know anyone, did anyone see who did it? The, uh, do what? I'm sorry. The kill. <laughs> oh, I thought it was the lightning. I, yeah, actually, I thought it was I lightning believe, too. Uh, yeah, but fell on. Do, do we really think it's lightning? <laughs> As Sledge, I said, Sledge I sort do... of thought it was. Uh... <laughs> I do not believe that lightning will hit the base of the tree first. Hmm. With that information um I, I sledge will come over here and be like well i mean lightning it's so unpredictable you you know these things and uh, i'll start looking at the actual spot where the the tree was felled does this seem like a uh, something natural perhaps arcane uh is it even possible to tell I, that's gonna be unless you have Arcana and nature and make some really good rolls with that with both of them uh, It's gonna be hard to tell whether whether it's that but it, I mean it's certainly there's you see that it is it's it's burned it um There there are kind of like some some splinters of it kind of where it where it blew off and and a little kind of smell of ozone and 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 smoke in the air I mean it, it seems as though lightning of some kind certainly has hit this tree I mean, just like uh, Sledge, <laughs> lightning uh, only hits once, you know what I mean? And uh, this one was special, okay? Um, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, at that point, Sledge is satisfied um, and sort of... Didn't think just Sledge was ever satisfied. <laughs> uh, so just, <laughs> no. just lean over like... I think only hitting once is actually a bad thing. That's not that's not something to brag about. I was I was thinking the same thing, but I think he might have meant like his attacks are so powerful he knocks oh, he people only out needs to I, I But I thought now. what you thought too. I, I'm yeah, right there with you. I was like if you <laughs> maybe did. he is a six second man. Yeah, maybe. No one ever gives him a call back so we can only hit it once, you know? Yeah. Sledge turns that around, gives idea. gives the look and is like doesn't hear any of this. Gives a look and is like, <laughs> "Hey, he thinks he's so cool right now." Yeah. He thinks hey. everyone's like, "Oh my god, he's so cool!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably thinks Literally we're all now. over here yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. they're all Li talking about him." He's he like, "Looked at me. He looked at me." <laughs> Listen I'm to like, everybody like, talking about me. <laughs> I'm like, walking away, I'm like, "Nailed it." Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry again. I missed what you said. Sorry. Oh. uh... Uh, when? What I was starting to say before? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I agree that the storms are unnatural, but who would go out of their way to kill a fake person with a magical lightning bolt? Someone who wants to keep the illusion alive? Hmm. I, I don't really cast spells but I don't know how far away you can cast it, but it was pretty close to where we were staying. Could they have been aiming at us? Am, am I showing my notes on the screen to you guys? Wait a minute. Wait, no way, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> really? I, I don't know. Really? I don't know. <laughs> well, I know. You don't know, though. I mean, I'm that, so might, I, I'm that so might be, <laughs> that might be possible, but perhaps it was more just as a warning. We're not really going to care about fake villagers, though, are we? Uh, okay, I I don't really think, have the skills for this, but is it possible to look at the direction of 
where the lightning hit and maybe look the other way and see if we know where the lightning came from. Is, is Thank you really everyone lightning? for joining CSI Candlekeep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I bring out like a magnifying glass and like one of those like Sherlock hats and I'm just like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at the light. I look at the lightning bolt scorch marks and tell her it came from the sky. <laughs> and it's from, from from what you can kind of tell it certainly did come from an upward angle sledge is like it must be getting hot out here and puts on his sunglasses um <laughs> and then immediately takes it off and says what are we talking yeah! about <laughs> uh, can i make an arcana check to see based on the fact that we think it's a beholder whether i know if Beholders can do lightning. Mm, please do. Roll twice, but the first one was a nat 20 for 29. The first one was a nat 20. If only you could critically succeed on checks. Um, with a 29, you, you know that it is not typical, but you know it is not out of the question. Um... Many beholders don't kind of carry that as a as an eye ability, but but there certainly have been some that have that. And you know that there are beholders that study the arcane more than others. <laughs> well, it is possible that it was the beholder, but I do not know what is this. Can I tell if it was a magic lightning strike, though? Uh, not easily. I mean, it's in the aftermath of not having seen it, it's difficult to deduce a real lightning strike from a magic lightning strike. If we were in second edition, there you could there would be things that you could do to detect kind of the leftover bits of that, but thankfully they got rid of things that were a little too deep like that. Uh, as... When uh, Sledge will walk up uh, a little bit to the north and he'll sort of look at the base of the tree and then like look to the north and look at the base of the tree and look to the north and he goes, hmm, well, that was a brilliant idea. I have to just look at it. And um, literally in his mind, this thing came from the north. Um, you know, he he's... That makes a lot more sense. And uh, he sort of uh, abs or ham. Um, <laughs> Who is on the map with you. <laughs> uh, and calls over uh, uh, Mr. Abs or ham. And just will tentatively uh, send abs or ham out this way. Just uh, looking up the northern path. And as Sledge kind of looks back, he's like, so should we go and uh, uh, save this quill person? Yes, that's what I was thinking. I don't know if we're going to get much more standing around staring at the tree. Yes, if I'm to be standing around staring at something, I would rather it is not a tree. Yes, Once I again, imagine I know sledge. what you would rather it be. Let's keep moving. Uh, yes, so... We are not telepathically linked, are we? Uh, Gen, Abdur Gen, Gen just stands between Narcissus and Aerith. Yes. <laughs> uh, Abdurham uh, absolutely notices a, a, a structure that is much larger than the others. It, it it almost certainly is what they have been describing as the manor. Okay. Um, assuming that obviously we're we're kind of moving that way. Um, uh, Sledge would like to to kind of direct uh, Abs to um, kind of just give a, a little circle around uh, sure. the the manse here. Take a look into windows if there happens to be any uh, things like that. Uh, there are windows, but they are the the drapes are pulled on okay. them. Excellent. But yeah, he can um, he can for sure take a a spin around. Uh, it looks, I mean, pretty, pretty clean around, but, uh, it, 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 with him looking at it more, it definitely is kind of the most ornate building here. I mean, it's not fancy, but if you compared it to these other buildings, it is definitely fancier. 
Um, uh, <clears throat> sorry, uh, looking back, um, well, if there's, uh, if there's a mansion in this town, uh, that apparently is it. Uh, unfortunately, Abzorham can't really see inside. Uh, and oh, I then, guess it's a good okay. thing we have someone who can get us inside. <laughs> All right, onward. We could onward. just knock on the door. Head off. <laughs> <laughs> are are we trying to sneak up, or or are we just walking up? Sledge has no direction and is going forward. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> Again, we'll try and move ahead stealthily and. I think the implication was that he would try and pick the lock on the mansion. Well, if we, how far it is that way? Would it just be easier to go that way and then we'll eventually get the <laughs> circle the map just Yeah, the map just kind of repeats. I, I got it. You go you know, upwards towards it. I'll run the other way and see who gets there first. <laughs> I'll race you. <laughs> uh, thank you to uh, MCR Music 3 for 300 bits. Uh... That is enough for a D6 inspiration to a random player. So let me punch the inspire button here. Uh, looks like Riala with an 18. You now have a D6 inspiration. Uh, please continue. Yay, thank you, MCR. Now, if we would like to be sneaky, um, of course, we could limber up with a, a little bit of uh, a sauna action, if you guys would uh, like that. Hey, uh, all of you roll a perception for me, please. And while we do that, a hype train has just started. What? Hype train. All right, so a seven from Aerith, a 20 from Gen. 18. Oh, 17, I, 18. I was so hyped, I didn't do my perception check. <laughs> what, oh. So what I, would, what I would say is everyone except for Aerith looks around and thinks, from whom would we be stealthing <laughs> out here in the open with no one around? Hmm? On the outside, hmm? for whom on the inside? Yes, I mean, if they're watching us approach, that's, that's what I thought. Well, Abzurham said that the drapes were all pulled. <laughs> that doesn't uh, mean that they can't hear with their ears. That's true, okay, that's true. We were being you... scried on at one point as well. True, which stealth will not hide you from. Very fair. I, I think, All right, let's I think go. God is telling me that we don't need to worry about being sneaky. I mean, uh, which, which like, deity is that you're that, that you're getting this from? You're like, my, my deity, I, I, my, my deity, um, my, um, you know, you're like 120 one feet many from deities. glory, and you're like, <laughs> mm, should we stealth? You, uh... about it. Hey, I'll have you know, Sledge was almost in a sprint. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just letting you know. Are I'm... you uh, buddies with God? <laughs> I am, indeed. No, God no. is my buddy, and he tells uh, me things. Uh, uh, there, it uh, is. there it is. <laughs> thank you, uh, Manx, for 100 bits. Thank you, Wiley Hobbit, for a gift sub. Nice. And Pixie for a gift sub. Maybe, maybe that will usher everyone along. I'm resisting just picking your tokens up and moving them. Uh, what do, 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 do Aha, I beat you, sir. <laughs> what if you do that? You're, you're going to break my token again. Well, that's true. That's why I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, come on, everyone. Follow the muscle-bound wizard. Love it. No way! Might as well. Oh, and then there's Pixie coming in with 500. So, what? That, and so if if Jade were here, I'd make him show the Leviathan for 100 bits. <laughs> uh, 500 bits is a D20 inspiration to a random player. So who is missing their inspiration? 
I am, but I think I think me. don't we tally the whole hype train up and then divide? Oh, we can end? do that. Yeah, we can do that. I can't sure. remember how it's done. I I think that's how it's done. I think done, we but... do it differently from minute to minute. But I I'm cool with that. <laughs> I so didn't do it because I'm definitely not missing a d20. No, no. That's right. I, that. I'm missing one as well. <laughs> there definitely weren't three players that burned them last week in the dream. Oh, sorry, I'm I'm lifting a leviathan for you. Yes, it's <laughs> just sledge is so swole. It just looks that small. Sorry. Wait, Jay. hold on. Um, I'm lifting the Leviathan. Look how big <laughs> it is. Uh, it's so big. <laughs> I need one of those baby hand, like plastic baby hands, where it's like. Ugh. Oh, that I mean, you sounds already have creepy. those. <laughs> oh. Shots fired. Uh, all right. So this manner that you're coming up to again, it's not. Um, it's not the fanciest thing, but if you turn around and look at the structures behind you, it it certainly is, is much more ornate um, than, than than those. What would you like to do? Uh, Gen, I think this is where you come in. Well, first, Gen will try the door to see if it's locked. Okay. It is not. <sighs> He opens the door and looks at everyone uh, and says, I did it. <laughs> so glad Man, we got you the really, Did you really see how well I rolled on that? Uh, Narcissus just pulls out her uh, pan blibs and starts playing the Pink Panther theme tune. <laughs> <laughs> that was da -da. so quick. I didn't even like see you or your tools or anything. You're so good at this. But once you're at my level of skill, you almost can't tell. <sighs> Impressive. <laughs> the door <laughs> it was open <laughs> <laughs> oh my alright so what order would you like to go in no no Aerith don't we all know Gen is very talented with that please no come on um, mm. <laughs> as Sledge is definitely great being in the middle as per most of his parties I mean uh... <laughs> yikes Yeah, I thought I heard he liked it in the end. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> stick. Uh, I'll stick close with uh, with Gen and, and follow behind him. Okay. Just to, to slightly break you for a second there, I'm gonna run up the side of the wall and see see if I can get to the top of the building just to see what uh, at, at the top if we're coming back down. Uh, yeah, the top. It, it looks like a normal roof up there. It's a two story. A two-story building. Um, the top seems like a roof. Mm -hmm. I, I love that oh no, he probably... There's a roof up here! <laughs> I, I love how he probably ran up, ran down, and in that time, Sledge was like, well, this is a pretty nice house. Turned around, looked back, and was like, what do you think? And probably never noticed that Raven had left and come back in that time. And, you know, like, he's like, it has a roof. Nice. <laughs> All right. Who is uh, so? Again, you've opened the door. Are you? I opened the door. <laughs> He's like, and that is what I have done. Um, all right. So who is who is entering first? And Sledge will be right behind him. I promise. Right, like right behind you. And I'll maybe, go in. Maybe the person behind them, but but right yeah. in that area. Now that we're actually going in, Gen is going to try and stealth inside. All right. Please roll stealth. All right. Team Elf Stealth Squad, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, with a, with a thirty three, you uh, you like straight blend into the woodwork. Uh, <laughs> I am going to. Uh, I I have placed you all, and you may replace yourself when I switch the maps over here. So you should. This will be on the left side near the bottom. Uh, all right. So the um, again, there are the decorations here are semi ornate inside. Uh, do I need to kill one of those? E yep. Yeah, the other ones you have yep. put it up. Yeah. Um. Uh. They're, they're. It's probably not. Sledge might have this in his house, but the rest of you probably wouldn't. Um. <laughs> The, oh, um, yes, that's a uh, model number. Oh, I mean, I've never seen that before in my life. Uh, I didn't order it. 
Uh, actually, thank you everyone for that, that level one complete hype train. We will do that giveaway after break for a an additional uh, $5 gift card for a Karakin dice. And so that then means we're at 600 bits still. So that is still, it's either two D6s or a D20, and then we hang on to the 100 for something a little bit later. Do you guys have preference? I already have a D20, so I am, I'm groovy there. I haven't got anything, but I think 2D6 is probably better. Instead of like a re-roll, we can then add a D6, right, to our roll? Mm. Correct. Yeah, it's so, like Bardic, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, but I can honestly, give you that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm the Bard. <laughs> I'm the Bard. <laughs> but why is the Bard giving us inspiration? I've used it to, like, take damage off things. <laughs> <laughs> that other version of Bardic Inspiration. So, I think since it's the last um, night, probably, spread out the buffs as much as possible. So I think 2d6 probably makes more, more sense. Okay, I'm yeah, good with I'm that. Yeah, for that. All right. I'm up for that. I'm going to punch that button. And, ooh, a so Raven gets one, and then it's a four-way roll-off between... Me and three way, Viala. I already have one. Oh, you already have one. So three way roll off between me and Aerith and Narcissus. Uh, and we'll, These we can... sixes don't continue from session to session, so you won't have one, unfortunately. I don't think. No, she just got one a minute ago. She got the one from Instagram oh, music. My mistake. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an idiot. So, uh, Buddy and Aerith and Narcissus, we should all roll a d20. I got a thirteen. An eight. And a 12. Yay! I got a D6. <laughs> no, I mean, yay. yay. I mean, yay. <laughs> D6. Thank you so much, everyone, for the uh, for the bits. I love to have inspiration. Change your mind. Raven can have a D20. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. Uh, so, just inside to your left, you see uh, two suits of armor that are flanking a set of stairs that go up. Uh, you see a couple of suits of armor... Uh, a little further in um, that are kind of flanking a, a set of doors. Uh, and you see an enormous stone statue that seems to be holding, uh, I don't know, some, some boxes of things. It is, he's, he is moving, uh, moving around and like, will take things out of the box and set them around. And if you really kind of watch him for a minute, they, they kind of seem like party favors. But none of them have really, it's not that they haven't noticed you, but they have not paid you any attention. Is it reminiscent of Clunk at all to me? No, uh, this is made of stone. Clunk was metal and kind of jovial. This thing is stone and kind of looks gnarly. I mean, it's beautifully made, but you know that if he got in to mix it up, it would be unfortunate. Oh, kind of Shaka? <laughs> <laughs> um but there is uh just to to your right there's a door here that is closed there's a door here that is closed another here and then a pair of double doors up in, in amongst this uh this stuff here the mix And they, of course, are uh, gazing upon Sledge, but not approaching or anything like that. The, the yeah, statues the, and things like that. Yeah, so the, the suits of armor seem like suits of armor. And the um, the, 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 statue, the statue thing seems to have a job to do. And he's giving them the party favors to the... Well, no, he's, he's like, from a large box, he's setting down smaller boxes out of it so it, it, it's almost as though he's delivering things that will then be set out again and you know it's a statue what the hell does a statue know <laughs> um <clears throat> well uh i'm not i know gen was uh being sneaky um from where i'm at right now i don't want to mess anyone up here but i sledge would sort of uh kind of tentatively walk towards the party favors after all uh 
Party favors, Sledge. He has to judge quality and, and make. It checks uh, out. You don't even have to explain. <laughs> like, we're with you. Oh, for sure, for sledge. sure. Sledge. There we go. Uh, uh, all right, so the, the closest box is probably is probably here. So how uh, how close do you want to get to it? Uh, <laughs> well, when you put it that way... Um, <laughs> Uh, so when I'm here and this, this big guy, is he just kind of traveling a path just sort of back and forth? Like, well, he was, but the closer you get, the, the, the more he's not doing something and is beginning. I mean, he is a statue made of stone. He doesn't move quickly. He is beginning to turn toward you. Uh, let's test the theory and (laughs) sledge will take about 10 feet back uh does the statue sort of resume not looking at me it does it 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 goes kind of back to what it was doing before well i didn't know it was going to be one of those parties um kind of like stepping right here and over the shoulder um does anyone want to say hello (laughs) Why don't you find out what kind of party it is going to be? Well, uh, I mean, you saw him. He was uh, he was doing fine. I got close. He started to... Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll go find out what kind of party this is. But I swear, if it's one of those kinds of parties, and uh, I sort of uh, look back at uh, Narcissus, uh, I, I know. I know the kind of parties and um, I will walk forward to here. And like I said, I'm sort of uh, trying to look into the box at at the party favors. Uh, If he goes to turn it, it, uh, I I will stop. uh, And so what kind of party is this? (laughs) Um, But but as you get up to him, before he starts to look back at you, you notice that he has put some sort of necklace decoration. Like the, the, the closest thing I could come up to would be like a Hawaiian lei on the suit of armor that's directly in front of him. Um, and then does begin to slowly turn back, looking at you, at you approaching. Uh, oh, ve- uh, nice decorations. Um... And I'll kind of take another step right here. Uh, does that put me next to the box? It does. Um, and he it, it, he he turns and then puts his hand out to you like this, as in with with what seems to be a stop motion. And I sledge will stop and just look down uh into the box sure make it make a perception or investigation you're let's say perception because you're not gonna are you gonna rifle through it or are you just gonna look at it uh no the hands are definitely up in the, <laughs> up okay. in the air right now I, I just had to check just had to see <laughs> i'd rather investigate let's see what happens uh 16. so there's some more of the those kind of flowery necklaces um there, there. It's like a, it seems to be a box of like drink umbrellas, uh, just typical for us in our world, kind of cheesy party favors. Um, let me let me actually open up just a little bit, uh, since from where you are there, you see that um, down this way, just a little bit. Uh, there's another. A suit of armor that has like three of those flower necklaces on and the there's a box um over here that is kind of tipped over that seems to be like chinese paper lanterns um they seem to be decorating for a party um and obvious uh, stop motion okay so hands still up uh, sledge will kind of take a five foot uh step here and this is is this a door mm-hmm. uh right it is here? um is it locked <laughs> you'll have to check it so i will 
jiggle jiggle the handle is it <laughs> oh reach down jiggle the handle yeah. uh you jiggle the handle and from the inside you hear what um <clears throat> hello um is the door the still closed yes yeah uh hello the the party decorations look fabulous uh Sledge is definitely looking over his shoulder now at the <laughs> at the group like there's someone in here. I don't I what do you want me? Um uh how are you? The <laughs> best line <laughs> ever. ever. The door snatches open uh and there's a a, a woman inside and she's like, what? I I have I have all sorts of food I got to get cooked here. What are are you bringing something? You're dropping something off or are you or what? What? I am so glad you asked. Um, friends, and yeah, at this point, anyone who is not at like visibly or hiding, hiding, you know, uh, come here now, come here, don't be shy. Uh, yes, so obviously the party, it's looking fabulous. Um, we were sent as extra uh, help. Did you need us anywhere in particular? Uh, I, the stone gentleman here does not appear to need help with the decorations. While this is going on, Aerith is going to turn to the group um, and just be like, while he's like talking, should we just explore the rest of the castle kind of thing? Should we just go? I mean, he is going to probably be an hour talking just about himself. I, I, I'm gonna go with him because I'm super noisy. But I think you, you sneaky folk, yeah, go check it out. All right, you, you we'll split up. Me. It'll be a great idea. Yes, <laughs> they'll be completely fine. Everything will go completely well. Nothing bad ever happens <laughs> like this. Let's go. Dan is going to try and quietly open uh, a door that he has moved up to. Uh, it is unlocked, and so you can open that door, and inside. Uh, it is, it, it's a seemingly very comfortable lounge area. Um, no one inside, but, uh, but yeah, the door was unlocked and, and you may go in if you like. Um, we come back to, uh, Sledge and this woman. Look, it, it, are you, are you, if you're not here to, to, to set up for the party or to cook, then I, I just don't have time for this. Have a, have a look. Don't, don't steal anything. Uh, uh, I've got things to do. And she closes the door unceremoniously on you. Oh, well. Um, okay. She doesn't seem to care that we're here. That is true. Um, and the the uh, the stone gentleman here, he only seems to mind if you touch the decorations. Uh, where did Where did everyone else go? Uh, they did this to me in the woods. I, I looked up and everyone was gone. Look on the map, man. They're still right next to you. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. He's currently just staring at Rial the whole time. Where'd they all go? Where did they go? <laughs> I'm very used okay? to this. We're well. just hidden that well. <laughs> he isn't actually staring at Riala. He's staring at his own reflection. Off in of her Yes, armor. in the armor. But it's an excuse. You know, you know. <laughs> Um, you have no idea when, when you were reading and we were here, they were just, oh, I'd look up and they were here and then they weren't, it was. They, they abandoned you? I, I mean, I might've, I might've not been paying attention, but at the same time, it's, mm. you know, there was, it, it was nerve wracking. Um, so, I mean, According to hers, uh, we sort of can just look around. Um, yeah, I mean, you all noticed that that Gen is standing next to a door that you didn't see him open it, but like he was there. And then you look back, and the door was open, and he's like, oh, "Shit, I don't know. It just opened. Might as well look in." Wasn't there anything interesting? Well, no one has gone in yet. I don't see anything interesting in there. There's no one there, but I could check. <clears throat> sure. Uh, I yeah. Check the room out. 
So the um the this the room is warm and smells of wood smoke. Um the furniture is very plush and inviting. Um the chairs and couches have been arranged for for conversation. Uh on the west wall uh just here in the west wall hangs a large painting of a forest. Uh there's a fireplace on the east wall with a, a fire lit in it. Above the mantle hangs a painting of two figures, one of whom is a woman, and she has had her face scratched out with ink. Hmm. hmm. Is it damaged? Mm, no, not not like cut away. It is mostly um just been kind of inked over like like if you like had like a, with a sharpie kind of inked over hmm. but in a very vindictive kind of way like when you cut your ex out of a picture <laughs> narcissus be... you you have that spell that like cleans things up do you think it would clean that off so we could see who she is i don't I know can... how this works i can give it this high um, I'd walk up then and use prestidigitate on it, and if that didn't work, I'd give mending a go. We'll say that between the is mending's a cantrip as well, right? Yeah. We'll say that between kind of judici judicious use of both of them, you managed to get most of um, most of the ink off, and um, the everyone anyone who is in the room and who sees this, which uh, it's kind of hard to tell who of you were in the room other than Aerith and Gen. Um, please, uh, make a perception check with advantage. Right, uh, 14. A 14, a double 20, a 25. 24. A 26, a 24, and... I've been rolling terribly tonight. 18. Um, even, even as low as the, the 14 for Aerith, um... The the woman in the in the painting is absolutely the spitting image of Sarah, the Harper agent who has hired you. Hmm. What do you think it means? Well, they were friends. She did say that. So yeah. perhaps this is well supposed to be their friendship in a, in a picture. Well, I mean, I have paintings of myself, but it's not for friendship. This seems, this seems a little bit more. And I'm guessing one of your paintings probably has you on one of those. And I point down at the bearskin rug. <laughs> yes, and a bull have to grab life by the horns, you know. <laughs> a, a bull skin rug? Wouldn't that just be like a leather rug? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Don't, you have no idea about uh, a satyr uh, uh, design choice. You know, or, uh, I'm you know. sorry. I'm sorry for making an assumption. I, I apologize. <laughs> You're assuming it was in rug form. It was live. Like. It was alive. <laughs> Yikes. Actually, it's a mechanical bull. He just likes the stimulation. <laughs> the... Uh... <laughs> Dragging us back onto task. Perhaps. Uh, yes, the the the. It, it seems like she is in the painting with, um, you know, a, a, a man, you know, maybe in his late thirties, uh, and they at least in the picture do seem happy and as though they were friends. Perhaps that's Quill. Perhaps it's the other guy. Uh, my money was, says Quill. Yeah, I was going to say if it was the other guy, he'd probably be scratched out too. Narcissus and Raven, you both, with your perception rolls, you both notice that in the painting, uh, kind of uh, uh, strapped onto his back and slung down, is a liar. So. Well, that, he, that he doesn't, is... probably doesn't have a goatee either, like the, uh, like Soren. Uh, that is definitely Quill. True, true. He doesn't have a goatee, but facial hair changes easily. So... I know a bard when I see one, and that is a bard. <laughs> It for sure looks like a, a very slick looking bard. So then Quill, maybe he realized that she had something to do with putting him in here and now he's angry and has scratched her out or covered her up. Hmm. 
Maybe, maybe someone told him that she put him in here. My question is, why is the whole picture of those two of them together? They were not the only two in the group. They were not just a duo. So... Uh, DM, what's that other painting that you mentioned? The first one you mentioned? Uh, it, is a, it is a picture of a, uh, a forest, a, a large forest painting. Hmm. I'm going to go look at that one. Yep, you, uh, you're, you're right next to it, so... Uh, and I sent you a DM. Yeah, I saw. That's why I wanted to look at it. <laughs> I would like to cast detect yes. magic. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna hard cast it. Yeah, yep. I, I love it. Uh, yeah. So the 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 paint the forest painting uh, definitely is is radiating uh, magic, and I would tell you the school if I knew what it was, but it for sure is radiating magic. Riala, be careful. Is that painting? There's some magic in it. I I just felt like wind blowing from the painting. It felt like. Well, who wants to touch it? What kind of magic? Don't know. Perhaps we find a demi plane inside a demi plane. How deep since, can this since, since, since I don't know the school that it would be, that you seem like you feel like that might not be a, a, a bad a bad thought about that. You, you think we should stick a hand in or throw something in? Maybe, what if it's like a portal or something? Definitely think it's something. Fledge, what about your familiar? Can you send him in? Well, uh, Abzerham, how do you feel about that? And Abzerham literally just kind of uh, uh, does a few little crunches, uh, gives the good old over-the-shoulder nod. Um, well, it appears Sledge is up for it. I mean, uh, I am as well. Uh, Abzerham is up for it. Um, so... Uh, first, uh, for the painting itself, um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, I know it's uh, up on this wall over here. If um, it, before Abzerham goes in, uh, can I, uh, Riala, uh, you may want to take one step back here. I don't, I don't know what could happen. Um, can I mage hand like the corner of the painting and just sort of like lift it up a little bit, just to make sure there's nothing. Yeah, you you certainly may try. the The frame seems like fully affixed to the wall. Okay, okay. Um, in that case, uh, telepathically to Abzerham. Now, just fly in. Take a quick look and and right back now. Don't leave me with these people. Uh, and we'll send uh, Abzerham through. Okay, so he's gonna go in. And turn around and come back out. Yes. And, yeah, and, and, yeah. And then report to you. Uh, yeah. It, he he uh, he he goes through, and you you lose the the mental connection for just a moment, and then he flies back, um, through the window, and is is like, wow, it, it's it, it's totally a, a little small pocket room of a forest in there. I will let the group know. Have Glad him ha have here. have have him make a perception check. Uh, with advantage because it, it's something that relies on sight. Perception. Advantage. Boo. Abzerham, like myself, um, <laughs> pays attention to little. <laughs> The uh, with with a twelve, he did notice still that there, there is a door, inside the room with the forest. Uh, I will communicate that. Um, it's uh, well, it's a forest with a door, a pocket within a pocket. It it would seem. What are you gonna pick? Forest pocket. That's right. We'll cut that out on post. 
Me too. <laughs> no, we won't. We'll highlight that. No, that, that's... Who was, what was that about writing down timestamps? <laughs> we have to go deeper. Yeah. Was that like one hour, 19 minutes in and uh, oh, 35 man. seconds? <laughs> I should have pulled the Inception music for this. Uh, oh, yeah. So should what do you guys... Is... Should we go as long as there's a way out, and then Gen just jumps in. <gasps> Ooh, all right, yep. You you uh, you hop in, and he he vanishes from the room. Uh, before any of the rest of you go, roll a perception check. Uh, with everyone with advantage. I because, love these twins. Because you're as staring. As Gen jumps in. Twenty-three. Ten. <laughs> you you are in shock. Your your brother's uh, is just. He still manages to shock you from time to time. A 23, a 20, a 23 for Raven. So, so the three of you, um, uh, Riala and Sledge and Raven, you all see that <clears throat> in the painting, there's a tiny little gin in there. Oh. And you don't see him moving around, but you, you know that there's time compression happening where you are, if this is another demiplane, there, there that could be continuing in there as well. Um, but yeah, you see, you see a little, a little again in the painting now. The the door to the room that we're in from the hallway mm -hmm. is it able to be locked from this side? Yes. If I, I'm gonna yes. lock it. Sure. I'm gonna try and cast message at him in the painting. Okay. And and just say, are, are you there? This message have a planar restriction. Uh, let's see. Is it a five percent fail rate, like sending? I think uh, it is. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. It's all, it's all it says to me. I don't. I don't know if it. They have to be within range, so I think it's only on the same plane. It's only one hundred and twenty yeah. feet. Yeah. That. So yeah. It. it uh, you don't you don't uh, you don't get any kind of joy from it. You you don't feel like it made the connection to him. Well, I guess we're doing this thing then. Um I'm I'm going to lock this door just so that somebody it'll at least, you know, slow them down coming in behind us if anyone does. Maybe we can even put a few bits of furniture in the way. I, I mean, Sure. The door opens into the room, so you could easily slide that that love seat uh, over yeah, we'll to that. to obscure well. it. The love seat can easily be slid over to do that. <laughs> Sledge and I will do that, and I'll pull most of the weight, but I'll try to fake like he's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, and Sledge thinks he's doing most of it. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Like, well, they have added they've added some weight to these love seats, and he says <laughs> love seats, you know, more often than he really should. So moving this love seat, Riala, <laughs> right in front of this door. <laughs> Only thought is is. How long do you think it's going to take for that big one to get in here, if it wants to, wanted to get in here, even with a that there? Roll a perception check. <laughs> Woo, 26 again. It would take quite some time, just given his size, for him to break enough of the room around the door to make it inside. I was saying, he, I was saying more like he could probably, you know, basically just punch through the door and probably punch the uh, love seat out of the way is what I was kind of thinking. Stop trying to help the DM. <laughs> I don't need inspiration. I have Z. <laughs> um, Jokes on you, because we also have Z. <laughs> um, all right, so do you all go in? Sledge has always wanted to be painted again, and he jumps in. Okay. <laughs> I follow. Okay. I guess we should uh, make sure your brother is all fine in there, especially with well, that one is going in there. That point towards like the, now the miniature sledge in in this picture. Yeah. As, as they jump in, you see you see little little paintings of them all lined up next again in there. All right. Sledge is I... this, like looks like fresh wet paint. Yes. It's like so shiny. Yes, it won't dry. It won't dry. <laughs> It's like, oh, that's some glossy paint, apparently. 
I try and look to see if Gen's expression has changed now that Sledge is in the painting. Uh, there's not a, there's not enough detail for you to really see that. Ah, oh, damn it! I'll Head down. I'll hop in. I'll hop in the painting. Okay. So that's Raven and Narcissus. Yeah. And Abzerhem. Abzerhem. Seeing Aerith go in, I'd go in. Okay. And Raven, are you coming in? Oh yeah, right, right behind my girl. Alrighty. That's so. Good. You, uh, you all appear in, uh, in this, this forest area. Hold on. I'm, I'm talking slow because I'm adjusting the map on screen here. Um, it, um, ah, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Vamp. Vamp, everyone. <laughs> well, this is a beautiful forest. It reminds me of my home with the, you know, nature and narcissus would go up to one of the trees to check if it would do the thing i'm just checking if gen's okay i'm like you're right what the hell were you thinking i'm fine yeah, yeah he's fine Bird seemed all right can we see the other doors like is it this small enough that we can see like you can everything? so there there is um so so straight in front of you i'm just doing one more little adjustment here on the map the the stream map so there are actually three doors in this place so there's a door here to the west a door to the east a door oops i can't ping because you're all right there a door right behind you and then down here at the very south end of the map you see what looks like a five foot hole and the lounge on the other side of that. I'm going to take out my dagger and just like carve in like an X in the wooden door that like appears to be where we came out of. Like, so you didn't, you, you came, you, the study is on the, on the other side of the hole in the wall. It's a, like a five foot square hole. So we spit out and we're facing where we came in from. Oh, weird. Yep. <laughs> this I'm is still just gonna the... mark the door that's closest to where we entered. Okay. Just like just so this is just we... the tip of the weirdness. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> um, Narcissus, give me a perception <laughs> check. That'll be a twenty-one. You notice down this way just out of the edge of your, of your eye a little bit of movement oh, so far. Um, I'm going to turn and say I think someone's coming I think someone is going back into those rooms that we left no you don't feel like it's from there so this is the window into the, into the room uh, the study okay. you notice the movement Kind of down here in the corner. Oh, well, then I'm just going to head towards it. Okay. So you get right there. And suddenly there are two adversaries there. They are um, grotesque looking creatures with uh, serpents for hair seem to be just kind of writhing around masses on their head <laughs> and they look at you and hiss and then we will all roll for initiative once I clean the order up I didn't see them in the painting ah. hey, quickly sledge seduce them <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I gotta click my token. Sorry. Yeah, I rolled before the thing, so I rolled again just so I could add it on the. It's updated, yep. basically. Yep. No worries. No worries. I'm just gonna say initiative is not one I wanted to get a nat twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Girlfriends, they could be your girlfriends. 
<laughs> uh, all right, everybody rolled in. Narcissus, you get the first action. Uh, they're just, they're the two of them just hissing Ooh. at you. So... I'm going to... What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm going to cast Confusion. And I'm gonna... Ooh. I believe if I upcast it, it's, I can add an extra... Oh, it's, no, it's a sphere. Okay, so 10-foot sphere, um, which would include myself. If I cast uh, it is it, the two of them. Is it a 10-foot sphere... Like centered upon you, is that right? Centered on a point I choose. Yeah, you. I'll say that you can move it so that it, that you're not into it, unless you want to be confused with them, because that would be an amazing roleplay. Well, it's more, I don't <laughs> think that I can, like, based on the map right now, I don't think I can get the two of them in a ten-foot sphere <laughs> oh, without being in it. Ten-foot radius? It doesn't say. Ten-foot radius sphere. Yeah, which is so that's twenty feet across. Yeah. Okay. So I can. Yeah, I can get the two of them, but I can't get the two of them and not me. Does that make sense? You. Uh, yeah, you could. All right. Okay. Well, then I'll do that. I'll allow that. It, yeah. It's you confusing Magic. yourself in amidst the enemies would be that'd be a pretty dick thing for me to force you to do. I mean, <laughs> so it's a DC nineteen wisdom save. Uh, okay, wisdom save. Oh. This is this may not go well for me. Uh okay, so green has a total of 3. Uh and orange has rolled a kraken um for a total of 21. So so uh green won't take its move or actions this turn. Okie dokie. And uh, it can't take a reaction. No move, no action, no reaction. Can it make a bonus action? Um, doesn't say. Uh, uh, we'll take, uh, prohibiting the action is also next out the, uh, the bonus, unfortunately. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Uh, all right. The clutch so far. Uh, what else? So that's my action, and I'm gonna bonus action cantrip shillelagh. Nice. Um. Uh, no. Yep, that's it. Alrighty, again. All right. So, which one is more damaged right now? Looking like which, which uh, one you hit a little more. Neither. So the green uh, green is confused, mm. and orange is not. Okay. Well, orange sounds like more of the immediate threat then. <clears throat> Gan is going to let's see. Well, there's no way I can stealth at this point. So, but I can, I believe, with a bonus action, give uh, you a steady aim, give myself advantage. So I'm going to use that and throw a psionic blade at orange over here. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You you did Shillelagh and you you did attack with that. Is that right? No, that was just me using. I was just trying to get the charge on all my things. Gotcha, gotcha, <laughs> Don't gotcha. Worry, that's okay. not an actual attack. Uh, all right, again, make your attack, please. So that is so that's twenty six. Yes, that that absolutely hits. All right, uh, <clears throat> and that is twenty six. Twenty six uh, psychic damage. Oof! Ouch. Uh, already. 
All right, uh, next my turn. Alrighty, so it is now her turn, and she didn't really care for that too much. So she is going to to look at you and just stare intently at you for a moment. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Whoa. Hold on, I want to check something. I want to see if I have any way to... All right, well, constitution saving throw it is. Ooh, you have, you have beat the, uh, you have beat the number. Well, good. Um, Didn't want to get petrified. <laughs> and then um, that's, that's what she's going to do. Uh, she's going to hiss at you now as well again. Sledge. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so noticing the confused one and then seeing my good friend Gen. Well, actually, probably not. Just seeing this one take some damage. Uh Oh, Abzerham didn't make it onto the map. You should be able to drag him on. Yeah, that's where I'm finding him, right? There we go. Uh, and so I will have um, Abzerham will actually kind of fly down here towards Orange um, and will sort of like uh, pull up right in front of Orange's uh, face, uh, do a little flap um, mm -hmm. And uh, show off the uh, rippling washboard of abs, uh, providing the help action to Aerith. Um, okay. And then Sledge himself will uh, look at uh, Orange there and will um, pull out the dung bell and be like, oh. I've really got to start working on an infomercial for these things. And we'll start to flex and a shake weight uh, will show up right next to uh, Orange's head there as I will cast a uh, Toll the Dead. Amazing. That's a wisdom save, is that right? Uh, yes, and I should have just sent it across there. I, think. Uh, okay, I, have, there a, goes. I have a 14, so I have failed. So that's 12. Necrotic as the shake weight of doom. And with that, uh, Sledge will uh, move over this way, um, providing a little bit of good line of sight. And then that is all. That is all Sledge shall do. Awesome. Aerith. You have been granted the help action, so you have advantage on the attack if you attack orange. I attack orange. Okay, so I will head forward by orange, um, okay. and I will attempt to hit her with my rapier, so I have advantage. Yep. Um, would that give me advantage on all of my attacks? It's on the next attack. So is that on all three? Because her attack uh, action is no, I, I believe it's just the, the just, first one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just the first. Just the first. Okay. So that 26 hits. Well, you have three attacks, though, yeah? Yep. Uh, I think it's three. Oh, oh, uh, oh yes. a 26, a 29, and a 27. Those all three hit. Beautiful. Nice. We love nice. that. Okay. Uh, so that is 16. Um, 20, uh, 23. Uh, 23. And then I will... Um, use a psionic die to um, do a psionic strike. Oof. Um, is that a roll. is that a to hit? Yeah, yeah that's a yeah, to hit. That that hits nineteen hits. Uh, with a Ooh, twelve, ouch. another force damage, and you know what? How is she looking? Um, real pissed off. Uh, she's, 
No, not dead. Not no, 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 not dead. dead. She, she, she's bloodied. All right, action surge time. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> hit her another three times. <laughs> I like it. All right. Let, um, the 13 misses, but the 21 and 22 hit. Okay, that is uh, a so 22, 22 points. Another damage, except extra damage. Yep. I am just hitting her a bunch then you just see these psionic blades come forward hit her Aerith realizing that she's still up and then just keep, goes again and with another bunch she looked at my brother how dare she <laughs> uh thank you 12 sided guy for the 100 bits nice uh all right anything else for you uh, that is the end of my turn. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Uh, can you move Absraham up one square and let's let um, no one puts Aerith, Absraham in a corner. Let's let oh, Aerith sorry. occupy the square that Absraham was in. That's where Narcissus is. Oh, wait, okay, yeah. All right. Gotcha. You just can't live there forever. Much, much though she wants you to, you <laughs> cannot stay there forever. Uh, does that complete your turn? Yeah, I, I do have something that pushes them back. The problem is, is that, um, you know, actually, you know what? I, I, I would not spend a resource on it because she, she cannot go any further back. They're, 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 they're but I can it, make her prone. Ah, yes, you may do that. Uh, so I need her to do a, uh, Strength saving throw, please. Oh, yeah, I got plus zero on this. It's going to be good. <laughs> Six. Uh, yeah, she is knocked prone. Oh. Oh. Oops. That's uh, sorry, I just put her on the map layer for no good reason. <laughs> layer token. Thanks, roll 20. She is prone. Uh, we'll say that that's prone. Uh, all right. So if that completes your turn, then Raven, it is your turn. You have orange that is prone and green that is confused. All right. So as I'm walking up, I just, you know, briefly stop as I'm like, like passing by Narcissus. So if I was to punch this one, would it, would it come free? At that point, the green. I do not believe so. Good to know. First, I will step right here and, and uh, start kicking the, uh, the the down snake lady. Like you do. Well, you know, like, I, I put I put the heels on for a reason today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's kick it up. All right, so it's a fourteen and an eighteen on the die, so twenty-eight to hit. Twenty-eight hits. All right. That is 11 points of damage. Okay. And again, again. Start, starting to look pretty rough. Pretty rough. All right, that's a 10 and 11, so it's 21. 21 hits. Okay. That is 14 points of damage. All right. Started to look like real rough. Okay. And I'm gonna still save resources. So for now, I'm going to just use my uh, my free, you know, bonus attack. Not, not flurry of blows, but just the additional one attack from being a monk. Okay. A one and a twelve, so twenty-two. That hits. I have no idea if that one would have been my would have been my first one, but I'm not worried about it. <laughs> so it is eleven more points of damage. So why don't you tell me what it looks like? Well, as a she sits there and gets past the book. Narcissus and stay between the other two Medusa, Medusa, Medusa I don't know if you have a plural B, but uh, she starts 
just stomping away at her with, with, with their heels on, realizing, oh, wait, these are my good heels. Ah, fuck. And just kind of <laughs> kick her over heels. into the, uh, you know, away from Aerith and, and more into the corner. Like, make me get, ew, on my shoes. All right. Um, sorry about that. And I look at the other one and it's like, hmm. I will then just dance around to the other side. Okay. As you're, uh, are you uh, attacking again or you're just moving? I'm just moving. Make a perception check for me. All right. All right. That's going to be an 18. So you, you're going to notice two things with mm-hmm. an, with a, with your 18. Um, green actually looks pretty beaten up. Um, she, she already has just blood kind of trickling down her face. And you notice that to the west, one square kind of hidden in the bushes mm-hmm. is the body of another one of these creatures. Dead. Like, they have, like, burn marks on it that some, like, you know, well, referencing back to, like, lightning bolts and such and things. We'll have to get into that on your next right. turn. No problem. Uh, anything else? I'm just going to relay it. I think Soren has been through here. Okay. Uh, Riala. Okay, um... I am actually going to move forward and swing my mace at this thing. Okay. That is 15 to hit. The 15 is a contest. So you and I, oh, they're, can, does Confuse give you any advantage? I don't think it does. I don't think so, no. All right, so if that she is... takes one step to where I originally asked, she can uh, garner, the, she could have garnered advantage from being flanking. That's true. If you were to take one more step, you'll be flanking with Raven. No, I don't want to be in that corner. I'll, I'll roll <laughs> off. I'm fine. Nobody puts Riel on a corner. Mm-mm. All right, so I've rolled a seven. I rolled a ten. So that hits. Okay, I rarely ever do this, so let me see what I'm doing. (laughs) (laughs) Um, That is six damage. Surely it's more than six. No. Okay. It's a d6 plus two. Ah, okay. Yeah, you you as well noticed that that she she has already been taken to fool school a little bit and is... uh, is definitely beat beat the hell up pretty good. You, get the, you do get the uh, divine strike for an extra one d eight radiant damage with your melee weapon attack. I am not um, a war cleric. I don't have that. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. I'm looking at my character sheet. Mm. Um, yep. So I'm good. Alrighty. You um, can make another wisdom saving throw. At the top of... Well, at uh, the end of your turn, but you can't do anything. Ah, uh, all right. Then at the end of my turn, I'll make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, 18? No, the DC is 19. <laughs> so confused. Oh, it's not going to go well for her. All right, Narcissus, you are back up. Um... Given that I've already cast Shillelagh, I might as well just use my uh, Shillelagh to hit. Okay. Oh, that's a 23 to hit. 23 hits. So that's seven damage. All right. I like how Narcissus is like, well, since I got this out anyway, (laughs) um, I may as well use it. So, uh, that's the end of my turn. Alrighty, again. 
even even from where you are, you can see that this one is definitely, definitely on it, right. on her last legs. All right, I'll just move up there. Let's see if I could just move past uh, Narcissus here. Yeah, let that happen. Pardon me, please. Um, she gooses <clears throat> you as you go by. Ooh, sorry, thought you were your sister. Oh my god. No. No, that doesn't happen. That doesn't um, happen. I made that up. <laughs> and then um Yeah, he is going to uh take a psychic blade in one hand and just try and like take the Medusa by the shoulder and uh ram it into her. I'm talking Alrighty. about the blade. The blade. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, Gen has already had to listen to Narcissus mentally, like, thinking oh. about his sister a lot. I don't <laughs> think, like, he, she would accidentally confuse them. <laughs> no, no. They're very differently shaped. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm much bigger. He's much more, like, oh, weaker. All right, and... all right. So, so, I, believe I, I believe I am flanking, so I will uh, just roll with advantage. Right. Yep, 26 hits. All right. Uh, you get sneak as well since... There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. that's you get three three different attacks. All right. So 16 yeah, yeah. plus 9 is... Uh, is that uh, 20, 25. 25? All right. 25 psychic. And because I haven't taken a bonus action, I'm also going to bonus action attack with a well, second psychic blade. <laughs> first, why don't oh, you yeah. tell me what it looks like when you jam that first one... Uh, in into her, making her minus ten points of <laughs> HP. <laughs> um. <clears throat> yeah. So this psychic blade, as it just rams through her, um, rather than being physical damage like an actual steel blade would be, it, it it's almost like it just passing through her spine. Uh, almost creates just a shock that goes through her nervous system. And the little snakes on her head all scream at the same time as she just uh, has a moment of extreme sensory uh, overload, and nice. then and then collapses. Nice. And that will take us out of initiative order. Sledge, please. You know what? I'm not even gonna say. Uh say roll because it always turns out badly um <laughs> sledge you uh now that things are over you go whew, and have a look around and um right next to you is another one uh slain uh definitely on on this one you can see uh some burn damage um what looks like probably some lightning damage and just some other kind of various uh, magical looking damages now, for all like intensive purposes, where these creatures are coming from outside our field of view, <clears throat> what we see is it just like forest all around, or is it like they these two were that, that attacked you were kind of hidden behind trees? Okay. okay, all right. The others were dead and kind of like left in some bushes. Um, probably they fell there. They don't look to have been hidden that well, but the. The, there is no f there's no space beyond what your field of view is like it it looks as though you're looking out but if you walk up and do this you've actually hit the hard extent of this even though it looks as though it goes beyond got you got you um there's a uh, well there's another one over here uh sledge will sort of kind of take a step forward and kind of looking where we are <clears throat> and the different doorways Mm -hmm. Um, starting on this side, <clears throat> can I, uh, sort of send Abzerham, you know, same, same process, right? Like in, and then, uh, let me know what's happening by coming back. Um, starting here and just kind of going around, uh, just whoop, whoop, uh, to see what these other doorways are or where they lead, I should say. Or I should I say first of all, is it a door like a physical door? Or is it's it like a physical a... door. It's okay. not. It's not a portal. And because of mechanics, I'm going to say that's going to be tough to allow you to do. Uh, and I don't want to have to kill your familiar. 
Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I push the so you can kill him. I mean, um, <laughs> uh, no, it's the uh, the door. The door is all you needed to say. Um, I okay. thought they were more like frames, right? Like more different uh, uh, portal type areas. No, so. no, it's uh, right, it's, cool. it's it's it, it's a regular wooden door, and it, and each of them has a shiny brass doorknob. And they all and they all the doors seem to open in to the space that you're in. They gotcha. pull pull to you. Gotcha. Uh, around here, is there any? Uh, yeah, I know these bodies are here. Is there any foot traffic or anything on the ground itself that would indicate maybe a direction of the struggle or anything like that? Make an investigation or, check. Okay. Let's roll this. No, not with this. Oh, oh, sorry. I looked at the actual die. It's a seven, 17. With a 17, <laughs> it, even where you're standing, you haven't made footprints or like gotcha. crushed the grass down or anything. It, it, it This seems to be a very resilient kind of specifically designed place. Uh, yeah, heading back over to the group. Um, the... There's another one uh, right over there, and I don't know where they were running to or from, but it appears that uh, uh, these doorways are about our <laughs> our next best option. Hmm. Do, do, um... do we perhaps pick the one that has a body beside it? Well... He's a little obvious. Um, I, that is as good of a guess as any. It's it's either they were coming from from this way, uh, running this way. Um, but there is nothing to be lost by checking and sledge you know brass doorknobs like that's just sledge's thing right um and so uh no he will attempt to open that one uh yeah so you can you you pull on the handle and the door opens and you you because of the magic of the of the space you cannot you don't know where it goes until you go through it <laughs> so Aha. You guys will need to make a decision on if you want to go through this one or through one of the others. Any thoughts? I'm. I think one wooden door is as good as another. I mean, if, it's anything, <laughs> if it's anything like the rest of this world, they probably just connect and we'll just go in a circle anyway. Neither of them show any particular <laughs> signs of use, then, like no. recently. No, okay. No footprints no, on the ground or anything. No, like I said to to, to Sledge, like e even you look right now, and even you're not leaving footprints right now. Oh. And it's there's like no no plates on the door too. Like like this is office of space of Doctor Blah Blah Blah. <laughs> that is certain death room this way. Uh, no, unfortunately. <laughs> was it? All right, so was it that way. That away. <laughs> is it not like a cross it. of doors, like one above, one below, side by side, or is it just side by side and the one we came from? Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Like Pardon? how many doors? Are there so four it's doors? Three, there's three, there's doors. three. There's three oh, doors, there's, and then there's oh, the there's window. Uh, this okay. I, I, thought, I, window. Thought, I thought that was a door. My mistake. Uh, um, I do want to ask, just for a little clue, potentially, mm -hmm. where again was the corpse that was already there when we came in? So uh, okay. red and blue. They were, they were there. You just didn't see them because you you didn't come okay. far enough down. Red and blue. Okay, yeah, yeah. I I agree. Then that probably that door. Let's go. Can we just like peek in them before we go? Before I'm we just go going through? to mark these the other two doors with some kind of different symbol, like a circle on one and like okay. a square on one. I'll just okay. carve it in with my dagger. So now they're all like labeled something different. Riala, you are oh. Good job. As Sledge is about to walk through. And to answer, yeah. uh, unfortunately, we can't see in there. As the magic works, we have to fully go into the uh, to the space. Um, so I as I... Sledge in. 
<laughs> yeah, as, as Gen is sort of walking up, and I'm like, so is this a hook? Um, as Raven uh, <laughs> pushes me in. Okay. Are you She's all gonna... actually doing it and cleaning her heels off at the same time. <laughs> uh, are you all going to follow the pushed sledge into that, that doorway? Yep. All right, let's see where it goes. Or how much doom sledge gets into. <laughs> no, 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 no doom, no doom. Wait, does screams carry through the doorways? Um... <laughs> Hello! Uh, okay. Meanwhile, after hands behind us, like, yes, finally. <laughs> yes, right. You guys slip through that door and it shuts behind you. And it is almost as if you're in the clouds themselves. But again, you, this is certainly just a very clever, cleverly painted or cleverly done up room. Uh, and laying... On, I mean, there's no ground. You know there's ground because you're walking on it, but but laying there in the room uh, is the the corpse of a of a humongous bird of prey, mm. dead. I um, think he's been through here. Sim similarly, there there are kind of magical and arcane uh, several different types of damage on him. If I go up and look out the window that's here, mm. does it? Am I still seeing the study that we came in from? You are not. Look, um, come here. It is a different room now. The uh, when you when you look through that window, it it seems as though it's a small bedroom of some description. Um, but again, so there's the the window that you're at. That's a small bedroom. And then there are three wooden doors set in the north, the west, the east walls. Um, this is how you appeared uh, at the, the northern side here. Um, so maybe that's the door you came in, but you know it wasn't so when you were deposited from the window. It seems that uh, these doors, they go between different rooms in the house, perhaps. Looks like we are at a bedroom now. I don't see anybody in there, do I? Make a perception okay. check. Okay. It's 27. Mm. From what you can see of the room, uh, you do not see anyone in it. Just a, a, a made bed. We just keep going through another door. I mean, until either the the room that we see is somewhere that we need to be, um, or there's still something in the painting. I see no reason to to go back into the house. Uh, it per seems se. like we're traveling through the house through the artwork, so we might as well keep going, like you said, until we see a room we need. Yes, at least this way we can all stay in. I know I'm not the best at uh, not standing at from the crowd. Um, yes, yeah, so, so it seems like we can possibly see if somebody is in the room, which would give us the advantage of uh, coming out if we need to. Um, well, what if one of us leaves just to see if the people in the room can see us in real time or if it's delayed or, or sped up well didn't we theoretically try that just uh when your brother was first one in and we just and then the rest of them walked in no, nobody moved i'm just guessing here well I'm, Get you know picking a feather out of, out of the uh the, the bird <laughs> and did you see us when you were in the first room you you could you could see them and um Again, t the time between the spaces is strange. So they they looked as though, um, th you couldn't quite tell if it looked as though they were moving slowly or if they were just staring at you or what. But it wasn't really long enough for you to make a good kind of assertion. But you could certainly see them standing there before they all popped into the room with you. Yes, I could see you all. Well, that's good because then that way, 
if we were to go to a room where there is someone stood in there, um, we could pr preferably get in or out before they even notice we're in the painting. So then the question is, which door do we go through? Is it like a maze where we just keep going left? Riala, make a perception check. Uh, 19. These three doors all carry the marks that you just put on the doors in the last space. Oh, oh look, my, my marks are on the doors. So we came through this circle. So this might lead back where we went. So let's try the square. That sounds like a solid plan. Okay, which, awesome. one, you, which one is the square then? I, I don't know. <laughs> whichever uh, one yes I, that one, one where is. sledge is yeah yes yeah. all righty you, are you guys gonna all go through that one it's time yeah. i want to push sledge it <laughs> <laughs> it's like a new game at the grocery store and we do it on three we both do it or something <laughs> it's like she gives you like a, a side look and it's just like yeah you want it <laughs> like, this is a strange new tactic three, i've two. never heard of <laughs> Uh, it's not the way he wanted to get double teamed. But. This is this is how real <laughs> muscle wizards get. do it. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you uh, unceremoniously shove him in, and you Ooh. all follow, and then you all are in a little study, and a man is sitting uh, in a chair at a desk reading. Ah. He looks over his shoulder. Well. Hello. And that is where we're going to take our 10 minute break, everyone. So, party of mine. You have, uh, you have made your way to the manor. You, th you have discovered some things that you think you know about the, the town's folks. You saw what looked like some statues setting up for a party downstairs. You um, discovered some very strange paintings that um, you were able to, to jump in and travel around through. And now you are in a, uh, a small room with a man sitting at a desk, reading a little bit. And he has just said hello to all of you. Are you real? <laughs> I could ask the same question about you. Bonjour, mon ami. Are you the duet partner that I have been looking for? He he eyes you up and down. What's what's the 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 instrument that he can see most clearly that you have? Um, probably my bandolore. What what is that? What's a, what's a bandalore? It's a string instrument. Ah, okay. So similar to like a lute or a lyre or something. Okay. Uh, well, yes, uh, I don't uh, I don't own one of those, but I've uh, plucked a few strings in my time. I knew it. I could tell by just looking at you. <laughs> so, and he, he very gently closes his book and sets it down. To... Uh, to what do I owe this uh, happy occasion, intrusion, visitation? And he just slowly is looking at all of you, waiting for someone to speak. How did you e get in e here? Even, even <laughs> over to Sledge and then back. Uh, How did you get in here? Well, I was, um, I was forced in here. And what's your name, sir? My name is Errant. Errant Quill. At your service. At Errant, she was like, ugh. And then at Quill, she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's a family name. It's, it's, it's unique, but it's still, it's a good one. Uh, and, oh. and you are, all of you. 
Sledge having been um, unceremoniously shoved into the room before everyone, uh, went ahead and uh, went across the room and took a seat. Um, and, uh, well, well, Matt Quill, yes, very well. I, I am Sledge. Um, I'll let my uh, more than capable companions introduce themselves. Um, nice office you have here. Uh, and uh, looking, um, well, as the group kind of introduces themselves. Mm -hmm. um, no, um, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and let it uh, go ahead. Go ahead. He, he's he's quite quite amused at you at, at your I'm... Uh, 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 no you uh, okay what well, uh, I mean it's very kind of like watching Seinfeld meets friends or something uh, I'm Aerith this is my brother Gen this is Narcissus Riala and Raven I'm I'm very pleased to meet you so I was uh I was forced in here how uh how did you get here? I sorry, I, I was gonna say I, I message uh and I'm just like oh wait, I can only message for one. Do we still have our telepathic thing going? No. I also no. wouldn't be part of that anyway. Yeah, that's a good point. Thankfully. Granted, Gen can start it up at any time he wants. I could. I could just start it back up. Should I do that? Should I start a group But I'm chat not here? going to. <laughs> it's okay, because I, I was actually staring at Gen, like, like waiting from the nose, like. <laughs> uh, mon ami, how did we get where? Well? Do you mean in this painting? Because, well, we came through a different painting. Uh, oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, well, I, you know, with any, any number of questions, how did you get here into this room? How did you get into the manor, into this village? Very, very tight lipped. He for a moment kind of changes his, his, his demeanor and then is back into his very measured, um, delightful kind of self. Hmm. I'm going to I'm going to cast detect thoughts just to get his surface thoughts. I mm. want to know what you're really thinking. Sure. Well, I'm sorry. Are you waiting for me? Um, <laughs> when when you um, when you reach? Sorry, I was not using the wisdom save version. I was just trying to show the. Uh... That's okay. When when you reach out to um to 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 grab those surface thoughts, it is almost as if you, you feel something just kind of shove, just shove it to the side, as though you reached out and it was and it skated off, and he he looks at you and and smiles, mind blank. You said you were sent here. No, I wasn't sent here. I was made to come here, forced. Against here. your will, then. It's pretty much what forced means. So I take it you know what this is, then. I, I see no reason to beat around the bush. Uh, well, yes, it's a shitty little study. Beyond a, that. I think she is referring to the ways that you said village ah you mean my my prison yeah your prison we are the prison break interesting sent by whom we're here to help you but who would want to break me out Friends. Does it matter? Do you want out or not? Well, I want Pardon? out, but it, depending on who sent you, that may not be the actual goal here. If I might ask you a question, uh, have you made contact with a man named Soren? That name is, is not familiar. The, the only, other than you, the only new person I've met in the entire year I've been here is Renicor. 
I think we'd prefer to avoid Renacor if possible. Yes, well, who do you think stuck me into this little room? Ah. Well, it seems we have a common, not so friendly person. How about we get you out of here? Wait, wait, wait a minute. You said that you don't know any Sachen that is new. What about before you came to be here? Do you know any Sachen from then? Hmm. This one is wise. Uh, yes. I, I absolutely know one from, from before I was trapped here. Um, he was, he was a good friend, uh, a bit of a hothead sometimes. I would think that if anyone were planning a prison break for me here to, to liberate me from this hellish existence that I've languished in for a year, it would be Soren, but you speak of him as someone that you are looking for as opposed to someone you are working for. I suppose, given your predicament um, and your apprehension for choosing a, uh, a rescuer, who would you prefer to be rescued by? Well, I suppose anyone that could get me out of here would be, would be good. But um, I, I would think that Soren would have the moxie to, to go against my, my former, bastard employers, who have trapped me here. Um, mm, I should think they help us. Yes, he 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 grits his teeth when you say that. Yes, the Harpers. My my former friends, my employers, ones who are supposed to be doing good in the world, who have attained far too much power and have flipped the scales and themselves need to be stopped are the ones that have stuck me in this hellhole for the last year. Everyone roll a, a history on that. Please. And not one. <laughs> when you can't critically succeed on skill jacks. <laughs> you are throwing those uh, those nat twenties out there. The, the, that's uh, true. The that's trackings. true. Just waiting on waiting on what Rial I got. Uh, I also rolled a nat twenty for twenty two. Okay, so Riala and Narcissus, you both clearly remember that Sarah said he had been in here for just over three years. We also know that time goes slower in here. Backward. True. On our way through this um, tour of pictures, there was one with you and someone with their face all blacked out. What was that about? Another... Another very good friend who is unfortunately former. I I think she was the the tip of the spear of the ones that forced me into this prison. And I I don't know what to say or to think about that other than I I must make her pay for that um in some way, I would think. Wouldn't you? You lose a year of your life in a prison. As a facsimile of a town, that's probably not a word in this universe. Uh, as a uh, as a copy of a of a town that you grew up in, that you saw burn to the ground as a child. Would you want to be trapped there for a year? I am curious then as to why you had a portrait of the two of you together in the first place. I I did not create this place. I painted none of the paintings. I chose none of the furniture, none of the decor. None of the townsfolk. Do you I, chose, you I chose none of this. Do you know why you are sent here? I think it is because they know that I know they have outgrown 
what their mission is. And I think that they have garnered too much power and are trying to use it to their own gain and their own advantage. And uh, they know that I'm someone who puts a stop to that. Everyone roll an insight on that last sentence of his. Is it, is it insight to tell if he's lying? I have a ring that helps me with that. Uh, no, it's not about a lie specifically. Okay. 24. Or the same um, 20. So, 20, 26, and 24. He, um, he believes what he says, but, but nothing that any of you three know or have heard n nothing about it seems to ring true in the real world and you all remember that what sarah said was something the the, the crystal that cursed him changed his mind but you think from him saying it that he absolutely believes what he is telling you well you see we came here to help you and and to save you but to actually take you out there's a few things we need to do beforehand um so if you wouldn't mind and um during the conversation and i, I need to ask Narcissus if this is okay uh Aerith would have tried to have taken the man manda manda mandalorian. <laughs> the mandalorian the man armor the man i was thinking the mandible like the jawbone i'm the, trying to think of the, the handcuffs man manacles <laughs> thing yeah oh, but i was like but i was like but she took the botanicals the, right from you. I want the Mandalorian helmet, please. Uh, no, I'll, uh, I'll take the... Don't worry, I also keep that in my cleavage. Just... All right, sweet. I was going to say, would you have allowed Aerith to have taken that during this whole conversation? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, you would have have to be, like... It would be pretty obvious what you're doing, but yeah. Okay. Well, would I you, would been... you have been flustered with her rooting around in your bag? In bra. <laughs> oh, her uh, face would be incredibly red and trying, like, staying as still as possible, just being like, I don't want this to stop, I don't want this to stop, God, please, just keep going. Please stop, so, uh, I don't want this to stop, please stop, I don't want this to stop. I will, uh, I, I will then say, um, so to get you out of here, we do need to take some safety precautions, if you wouldn't mind, and I will approach him calmly and confidently with the 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 manacles mm -hmm. and we'll go behind him but like really calmly confidently like not not trying to like almost as if this is like a normal thing she's not doing it like she's trying for, to do it as casually as for possible. sure as, as at seeing the manacles and seeing you move to go behind him he will stand up and step back as well and not allow you to angle behind him can i um, uh can I know what your yeah, plan it, is? It's it's the only way we can securely take you out of here. You see, we have rescued people. Well, I have rescued people from books before. And um, this is just how you have to do it. I know that you've probably not been rescued before or have rescued people. So it might seem a little bit out of the blue. Um, but for safety precautions, we do have to make mm. sure that you are safe and secure. Um, arms and feet inside of the wagon at all times if you will make a deception uh check with disadvantage oh yeah 24 uh 28 i mean if only i hadn't also critted on that as well um <laughs> i'm going to need maybe a little more than that like like he's not retreating from you still but he does want more. Okay, well... So, think first let's start by this. If you... Mandablicle me, yes. how will we get out of this room to then get out of this book? It's... It's quite a complex thing. Um, I actually am not the caster. I'm more here to make sure that everyone sticks together, um, mm -hmm. make mm -hmm. sure everyone is safe. I'm not the one who actually casts us to be able to get out of here. So, mm. so who's the asking, caster then? 
I look around and, and, and he like, will <laughs> and he will dead eye sledge. It's like the the one and only like true full caster here. I like look at him and I'm like <laughs> help me. What? Oh, <laughs> I can't imagine Sledge is like you know sitting on the, on the chair like you know in a row by the cap partially opened up. <laughs> it is uh, immaculate uh, to gaze upon. Um, as you're uh, as Aerith, as you're you know, going through this, and um... <clears throat> oh, uh, sorry. Uh, yes, I. Um... I am a, 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 a caster. What my friend says is true. See, there is a lot of uh, magics that uh, jostle. And I mean, you see how physically fit I am. It's from pressing all this magic and someone as small as you, oh, you, you'd simply be crushed. It, all for your safety, I promise. I am sure that you are aware that uh, there are ways to get back to your home plane when you have been displaced. And uh, I always yeah, true, here, and I just... can't think of any of them that require me to be handcuffed. No, but you see, our wizard here, he's a little uh, strange. Um, so it is for your benefit that if you put on the manacles, you will not be affected weirdly by his magic. It is actually for your safety and not just because we need to keep you captive or anything if we wanted to keep you captive why would we be trying to help you escape oh in it and in all in, in all honesty it, when he does it i didn't want to tell you because it freaks some people out but there's a little bit of um like twitching and almost uh your arms will start to just uh, you know about um the problem with that is we've had people during this transition twitch their arm has gone as different and then they've come back into the real world and their arm's been in the wrong place it's been stuck out and we get money taken from us we get essentially sued by the families because we're meant to be saving people and instead we're disfiguring them we're reducing them trust me when i say this is for your protection i have seen strong people go i'm not gonna go in these manacles i'll be able to keep it and now their foot is on their shoulder because they were twitching it's an involuntary thing you can't help it it's I mean, purely it's... god damn it panda all right roll a deception with advantage because that that bullshit is too good to not let you have a try at it roll with advantage mon ami if you'd rather i can just paralyze you <laughs> He seems to ignore Narcissus at the moment. And he, he, he considers you for Aerith for, for just a minute. And he says, I'll tell you what, I'll let you cuff me for my safety. If, uh, if it doesn't work, you let me back out of the cuffs. Agreed. If it doesn't, if it doesn't what doesn't work? If you don't get us out of here. Oh, yeah, of course. That's completely fine. I will be needing those manacles back anyway. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Once you're out, we're just going to take them um, off you. You're not going to be imprisoned once we return back. I can communicate telepathically with all of you for uh, four hours, by the way. Oh, sweet. He will, uh, Again, he, he will, he will look, I mean, he's, he is looking you in the eye, Aerith, but he will extend his, his arms. Okay. I... I want them behind the back, really. Well, I bet you do, but he's he's offering them out to the front. Yeah, he offers you've them out to the you've front. Done pre you've done pretty well so far. Maybe let's not press our luck oh, on this. Fine, fine. Uh, you can if you guys want to be in a battle with the guy you're trying to no, rescue. No, 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 no. I will, I will cuff him at the front, and as I do, I kind of look over uh my shoulder um and then in, in my head i i i we're we're aware again right that we can talk to you telepathically right now yeah you will be well yeah i i i will be you can you can talk to me telepathically anyway yeah uh, i actually have to leave one of you out so i am going to leave Aerith out of the that's group. fine leave me out the group call it's fine <laughs> <laughs> I don't you have know, FOMO anyway. or anything. You have message anyway. It's fine. I do, I do. Uh, um, but yeah, I will. I will say to you that um, I'm thinking we bound. Like once the manacles are on, I'm like, 
to him, I'm like, bound gag stab. <laughs> because we um, we need to we need to cut him with that blade, right? Yeah. So in a yeah, head, you don't like, have to gag, gag stab, him though. Question mark. Yeah, but he can cast spells. <laughs> I True. wish I could say that was the first time I've heard that plan. <laughs> <laughs> and now he looks uh, expectantly at you, Sledge. Well, Mister Greasy Wizard, um, the it's it's on you now. Let's let's have this oh, really? let's have this Twitch fest and and get right. out of here. First Knowing that Raven has the dagger, the I will. Oh, sorry. I'm just, Aerith's going to be like leading him to the center of the room so everyone's close to him is what she's trying to do. Sorry again, go on. No, I'm sorry. Um, I will uh, communicate to Raven what, what Aerith said about bound, gag, and stab. I, I sent back a message that, uh, well, are we positive that this is him and not the other? That and, you know, trying to pretend to be him. He did get a head start. I mean, as, in the other rooms. As they're communicating, Sledge is like stretching. Mm -hmm. He's like, this is, this is some intense magic. I mean, that's why manacles, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, all right, I'm just sure, gotta, sure. Gotta stretch it out. And in, in the head. He uh, is amused by you, but certainly not impressed. Oh, right. um, you can tell that in his face. I'm like everyone in the circle. Everyone gather round. <laughs> like, <"Gah." laughs> um, are we gagging him? Are we doing that? I mean, Aerith wants like this guy to be unable to potentially cast spells and things, so that you know. This is what this that's her thought really is like if we can restrain him, that would be great. I'm just saying as soon as we do it, he's gonna be hostile and I'm going to try and uh dig deeper with detect thoughts if I can. I know he's, he's his mind is blank for surface thoughts, but so the first thing that Sledge does in all the stretching, he's like, oh, a, a little warm-up, a little warm-up. And um he begins to cast, and I will actually uh, hard cast. Um, uh, wait, does anyone have detect magic still up? That's a ten minute. Didn't you cast that earlier? Yeah, I did. I think it's been more than ten minutes, though. Okay, okay. Um, I, the, we 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 could say just for the just for the shits and giggles of it that that she's like right at the very end of her detect magic. If you want to ask her about anything. Yeah, I mean. Uh, telepathically uh, through Gen uh, switchboard um, is is there any other than maybe items or whatnot are there any other magics coming off of him say uh, uh, transmutation or or anything illusion anything along those lines um, I'll sort of communicate that through uh, uh, through Gen on to uh, Narcissus Who's this going to? Oh yeah. Okay. And then he'll he'll tell mm -hmm. Marcus. No, he seems uh he seems clean. He he does not seem to have any magic items on him, and you're not getting any kind of magic aura um illusion or transmutation or anything off of him. Uh hearing that, I'll uh, go to go through to Raven. <clears throat> Well, Raven, uh, this would be uh, the moment to to test the dagger, I do believe. Um, I'm running out of core stretches. Uh, and um, I'll sort of uh, uh, come up and I will uh, look at uh, him expectantly and be like, well, you see, what had happened? And I look across over at Raven <laughs> and when you do that, he he follows your eye line over to Raven as well. Uh, is she part of the spell? Is she? Is, uh, yes, uh, components and whatnot. I use. I usually have it on me. Using a monk as a component in the spell. Though this will be no, 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 this no, will no, be no, quite no. the ride, I'm sure. It thus the manacle. See, you have no idea how how spine tingling this can be. 
Um, Sledge, at, at saying that, and you have no idea, uh, make a make an Arcana check. Uh-oh. Just real quick for me. Gotcha. What's going on? I'm just going to send a message like that. Send it again in his head. It's like, yes, I get paid to, you know, stab people, but I believe not only do they want him back alive, they also want him a little more um, at ease and ready to work with them again. I think that it... Oh, wait, no, I can't hear this. <laughs> yeah, well, Ken is going to respond there. I thought the point of the dagger was to remove corruption, not kill him. Well, what is, presumably, what, if he does have it removed, then he should be more reasonable. But what if his uh, his mental state stays the same, even after the corruption's gone? Well, I'm sending you a message, Sledge. Sucks to be him, I guess. Just, and you do with that what you will. Keep it to yourself. Tell everyone as a cautionary tale uh, or not. But that's just, that's keyed off of your, you have, oh, you have no idea how shaky it will be. Strong magics. And, but he's, he's eating it up though. Mmm, yes, quite strong. Oh, I'm sure I've never seen anything like that. Ever. <sighs> Okay, all right. So apparently there was a bit of a miscommunication when we came in here. <clears throat> so you were placed here, obviously, by some former friends. You're not very happy about all of that. I understand. Um, however, uh, both of these former friends of yours um, are under the assumption that, well, you're here for a reason. That reason, uh, well, some sort of item or or curse or, or or something like that that is uh well corrupted you we believe we have a way to to fix it but it is a bit violent um uh, well a dagger in, is involved in this and uh anyway the point being all of this was to try to make sure that uh we could remove the curse from you and then get you out of here safely without running into this, this Renacor being. So in reverse order, I'm not sure that it's possible to get anywhere out of here without running into this Renacor being. And two, think about who has, uh, who has said I'm cursed. The, the ones who are miswielding their power and turning it against the people that they're supposed to be saving or the one who's been put in prison for dismantling egregious use of power. I suppose uh, perception and viewpoint is is everything. Um, who's to say that these feelings aren't coming from exactly what it is they say uh, True. it is? And who's to say this is not a clever ruse for you to be sent in here to just kill me with, and he pulls his hands up, the solution of a dagger. I'm sorry, the violent solution of a dagger. Look, we were given two options in this on what we get paid for. Um, There are two different groups that want to view out of here. I'll tell you that. At least three if you include us. But... The people who want us to stab you with a dagger, they want you alive. (laughs) They wouldn't be giving us a dagger that kills you. We don't get paid unless you come back alive from them. Well, I'm glad I can be just a paycheck to you. Oh, no. I am not after the paycheck. You see, I'm sure you are aware that I am a bard myself, and I think the world misses your music. Hmm. Make a persuasion check with advantage, because that one kind of cut me to the bone. That would be a 31. He has rolled considerably less than that <laughs> in these single digit ranges. Um. 
Hmm. It may be. It that uh that may be. Alright, wizard, cast your spell. The time is now. Um uh... Uh, which spell is that again? I, I, quite honestly, I thought the dagger was the answer. And then I thought we were... Uh, yes, that would be... And then he, he turns his gaze to Aerith. That would be you who lied to me, wouldn't it? And he, he, he jingles his hands up. I'm not feeling a whole lot of trust going here. Look, listen... We, uh, I want to help you. I don't know you. I know my intentions. I don't know what yours are. And I want to be able to get you out of here without one of my friends dying. I know you're very powerful. And I think you also know that these manacles will pretty much restrict you from hardly doing anything. So they're not really going to get in the way. It's more of a way of making me feel safe because I'm insecure. He's going to reach up. He's going to unbutton his shirt and he's just going to pull it apart. He's like, do your worst. And he's looking to each of you, not knowing from where it will come. Well, if he's doing that, I'll take the manacles off him. I'm just going to be like, well, if you are accepting of the fact that you will be stabbed, you might as well be a free man while you do it. You are very <laughs> much proving yourself. Not not much of a consolation prize, is it? No, but you are showing trust in us, so we should show some trust in you. Uh, also, does it does it need to be stabbed into the, the chest? Or, um... At, at, at this point, if Raven hasn't done anything, Aerith will approach Raven for the the dagger. Yeah. She she's if 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 Raven's hesitating, she's just mm -hmm. gonna take it from her if she can. <sighs> this is where I start to get scared as a DM because Z has not said anything in a very long time, and it's like, mm -hmm. oh man, this is where the shit comes untied. <laughs> Well, Raven's got a lot of stuff going through her head right now. Okay. But uh, I was tend to walk up and, you know, I know she wants to take the dagger, which is somewhere than my person. <laughs> but uh, I was going to say to Quill, what if I could promise you that another, another power could help you? And let's say another group who's willing to fight the shadows and the beings that walk in the dark, thus to help help you out of uh, your predicament, and per, also in the time, keep keep them and the other ones in check, and perhaps bring that power that has gone to their heads back down to normal levels. Hmm. If we get out of here back to the real world mm -hmm. I would love to to buy you a drink and have a discussion about that well I'll hold you to that and uh, we'll uh, definitely fix what has been messed up huh. Raven mm -hmm. what are you talking about Without, without, was that out loud or in my head? Oh, that'll be out loud at this point. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Well, there is many groups that uh, nobody knows about. There are some that have broken away from some that have, you know, sing true and some that uh, hide in darkness. And there's ones that uh, see them both and try to, you know, fight, fight back against both of them. I did... I did say there was some time that I had known some things. Well, I have I have my past, and uh, everyone has theirs. But I look at Quill, and it's like, just know that uh, 
as long as we work together, I can guarantee that uh, we will fix what has been corrupted. While you guys were talking, Quill will have pulled his pipe out and mm-hmm. just just be listening and just take a couple mm-hmm. of pulls off his pipe. Raven, are you going to use the dagger? I, I look look at him like I mean, do you consent to a minor minor slice? He had his shirt open. I think he consents. I believe he that was more of a, you know, not much of a consent, but more of a of a dare. <laughs> Or in a case of Sledge over there, more of a seduce. <laughs> he knows we're not trying to hurt him. Well, that's not been fully established yet, but... Well, he, we know we're not trying to mm. hurt him. How about this? Let's get out of this room into the manor or the town. And then you guys can fucking cut me up all you want. Because so far, I've not found a way out of this place. I've been here three days. Even out the frame and pointing to. Well, make a perception check, please, Mr. Sledge, about the frame. Oh, God, there's no frame in here, is there? Uh, I, I don't know that either. <laughs> like, yep, it's the frame. <laughs> As uh, as Sledge in classic Sledge fashion just points to it. The rest of you, please make a perception check. <laughs> yes. I'm glad I could spur uh, greatness. Um, uh, dirty 20. 29. Dirty 20 as well. So um, I'll say pretty much all of you other than Sledge. Uh, you notice that the so the the window to this room is is down here next to where Narcissus is, uh, and it is covered in what seems like a, a a viscous slime that is 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 kind of hardened into a, a bit of a shell. The uh, he threw me through the window there. I landed in this room and then. He spat out whatever the fuck that is. And uh, that seems to suppress the way back. So uh, I make some sort of check to determine what it is. Sure. Make a make a ooze check. Um, ooze. Is make, that under make, nature <laughs> or arcana? <laughs> uh, your choice between nature or, or arcana. Go for Arcana. And uh, I assume you've gone to, uh, well, through these doors and have tried other. Please make a perception check, Sledge. (laughs) Why? (laughs) With advantage. I'm going to give it to you this time. I'm your spotter. No doors. (laughs) I'm your spotter. The worst part is. You've gone, surely you've gone through these. Well, of course, maybe that. Well, I mean, uh, the. There are no doors in this room. This room is exactly how you see it on the map. There is the window to the south that is covered in the, uh, ooh, with an Arcana 12. It, it's some sort of slime that that dries into a very hard, uh, it's a very viscous slime that dries into a very hard kind of shell. What room were you in when he pushed you into? What room is outside this painting? The ballroom. And he will, um, okay. he's actually going to move, idea. he's going to move over and sit back down in his chair and keep smoking his pipe. Which one of you wants to come with me back into the manor? We need to find the ballroom and I think we can smash this from the outside. Hmm. Um, Sledge goes ahead and uh, uh, takes a seat uh, in the chair there. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I assumed I was staying here. Need to stretch and and whatnot. As I'm all quite, right. Uh, I, I I knock on the non-ghostbuster slimed 
you know, wall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, then I knock on, on the slime, this see the you know, it's solid. I can it, yes, it, it, seem, it seems it. Ver- it seems very right. solid. Gen walks up to Aerith and holds out a hand and uh just says to her in her mind. Rock, paper, scissors. All right. Wait, okay. Rock, okay. <laughs> What'd you get? I got hand. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, damn it. All right. <clears throat> Again, uh, volunteers. All right. And uh, you see Narcissus kind of like draw an outline of a door just in the air and cast Dimension Door. And she is visualizing the room we first went into, where we were in the paintings. So do you know what the rules on Dimension Door are? So it is... Anywhere, so it is either a spot with it. So, actually, that's something. Is it within five hundred feet? That spot, probably not. Don't know. Well, um, you think that you are can... in a sub dimension of a sub dimension. As long as I can visualize it or describe it by stating the direction. If and it's within, fi- if it's room. within, if it's within five hundred feet, you are on a different plane. Dang it! It's called dimension door for a reason. I know. I'm with you. I could have let you lose the spell slot, but I didn't. Yeah. Dang it. Completely ruins my plans. <laughs> hey, Riala, would you like to try to hit this with, with your your maze? Hit what? Pointing at the, the slimy wall thing. Why? Well, you have a, it's a hammer of sorts and see if we can break this. You want me to break slime? Well, it's hardened. It's almost like um, an amber. Can I use prestidigitation to clean it away? <laughs> uh, you, you try as hard as you can and it doesn't work. And he smirks and says, tried that already. Do you guys really think that this guy has been sitting in here for three days and hasn't tried everything that we're about to try? I bet he hasn't tried this. And I throw, I pull out a uh, psychic blade and throw it at that. Ooh, interesting. Um, uh, yeah, that's is that a, a magical? That's it magical. is magical. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking. Uh, I'm gonna assume that you, as a Dex boy, can hit it. Um, yeah, roll a damage for it. All right, so that is nine. I don't know if I would get a sneak attack on the the slime, but... That's a good question. We're going to split the difference and say you get half sneak on it, because it is slime, for, and that's, by the in way. In that case, 18 psychic damage. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, uh, you hit it, and it, it just, like, some pieces fly off, and... There's kind of a kind of some spider cracks in it, uh, and you seem to to definitely have done some damage to it. And Quill sits up, up like bolt upright in his chair, and says, "Huh. Well, that's different." On um, anyone on that note, I'll, I'll punch at some of the loose bits that are still there. Um. Okay. Roll uh one round of damage, please. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, eleven plus fourteen, twenty-five, and another thirteen, so one round, so thirty-eight points of magical monk awesomeness. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Again, it, it kind of fucking lights up and the, 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 the spiderweb cracks kind of continue out a little bit and, and some more pieces flake off. You, you definitely seem to be working your way through it. Um, Narcissus, what do you got going on? 
Um, having had just the worst luck with what her plans were, she's just going to get real annoyed and cantrip turn her quarterstaff into a shillelagh and hit at it. Just being like, All right, Zit roll- a I hope you go away. Roll the damage. Seven. Uh, yeah, it's a, a smaller piece comes off of it, but uh, but it definitely is uh, is working its way. Uh, Sledge. Ooh. Okay, so uh, kind of seeing uh, the uh, the group uh, effort there. Um, Sledge will uh, actually take a step forward and um well uh <clears throat> here's to hoping it's not too flammable uh and i will cast firebolt at the um the the uh, ooze um, i'm going to make you roll to hit and if I you roll you if you I roll did. a 1 well you didn't ask them to move if you roll a well, 1 then one of them is going to have to uh have have some 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 actions here. I've also no, sent you like like two DMs and you haven't responded to me. Um, I, I just did. Um, I you did. I did. Oh, um, I pressed the send. Um, well, actually, you answered my question that I was typing in the DM to you. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so twenty seven. You for sure hit. Roll some damage. Okay. All right. Um, that button. All right. Yeah. So the um, you you actually with with that it, the those kind of spider cracks continue out a little bit, and the outer kind of upper left portion of it, uh, begins to burn, and it's it is a foul, kind of noxious fume that it's giving off now. Oh. Um. After the firebolt goes off and it's like, uh, and I'm like, oh, I kind of look back uh, towards this this corner where Riala is. And I'm like, just trying to do one of those show off like, hey, I hit that really well, but I'm coughing at the same time. So it's like, uh, uh, and uh, as, I, as I'm looking at her, I'm kind of like, uh, uh, yeah, uh, what? come over here, like, check out what I did. And I'm sort of like, uh, you know, trying to get her in a little bit, a uh, little bit closer over here. Um, she's been really quiet over in that corner. I'm like, Riala, what's wrong? What's wrong? Come here. I'm not coming any closer. The, well, I know I'm intimidating. Are, are, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> I mean... Yes. Um, it, and I'm actually uh, going to take a step uh, forward and just, you know, in t- typical sledge fashion, like, you know, uh, come now. I mean, your armor's never been so shiny. And uh, well, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I like to, to have you next to me with the, the visuals. Uh, uh, you, are you okay? I, why are you why are you pushing it just just leave me alone well that okay um and mentally i'm actually going to reach out to uh, again and uh as i'm kind of stepping off uh, oh, okay okay um <laughs> again i'm going to say um <clears throat> something it, she seems very well well, more gruff than usual. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if, if, well, maybe, maybe you might be able to uh, look around a little bit. Uh, I think something's different. Uh, and then, as I kind of step away, I turn around and admire my firebolt action. <sighs> um, <laughs> Are you asking me to read her thoughts? Yeah, something something seems off. She's, I mean, I mean, what's not to like about Sledge? And and she's just, uh, you know. That sounds know. like a gross violation of privacy. What's in it for me? 
Ah, see, I say, I thought you, I thought you'd ask what's in it for you is closer to us getting out of here. We're going to need her. And right now, I, I don't know. She just doesn't seem quite well, Riala. Right. So, uh, Gen makes a big show of putting his hands to his head and then DM, I'm pretty sure my detect thoughts has actually run out by now, isn't it? Uh, how long does it last? Uh, let's see. It lasts. No, it only lasts a minute. Oh yeah, then 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 your first casting of it has run out. Would you like For to sure. cast right. another? Uh, I'm not sure if I can, but I am going to do this, and then just telepathically talk to Riala and say, "You're all right." What are you doing, Gen? Oh, I'm trying to make Sledge think that I'm reading her thoughts, but actually, I'm just going to talk to you. Reading my thoughts? Why would why would he want you to read my thoughts? You think there's something wrong? Are you reading my thoughts? No, I just told you I'm talking to you. Yeah, but how do I know you're not also reading my thoughts? Because I can only do that for a short burst and then I have to sleep for a while. Aerith, Raven, so Narcissus, say. and Quill are all starting to pick up on this weird ass vibe in the back corner. Oh no, I am I am still mad and still hitting the zoos, just feeling defeated by it. All right. Checking out yeah. from the party. Hell yeah. Can I <laughs> are you are you all right? I'm fine. Great. Can I inside check again? Sure. Um, that's high. That's a 19 on the dice. Um, plus eight. 27. 27. Pretty good. Um, what are you trying to tell? If you're lying about reading my thoughts. Uh, no, he's not. He, he already tried to read, uh, uh, close <laughs> thoughts. And I only get one detect thoughts per long rest. I don't know. It is there something wrong with Sledge? He's been weird. Are you asking that seriously? What is that? <laughs> I mean beyond the usual. <laughs> Why do the two of you think you're acting weird? Is, is this some sort of flirting thing? Do I have to be? Do I have to be the, the go-between for this? No, I. I use I, my foot to touch his foot. Touch his foot. <laughs> 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 no, no, absolutely not. That's not what this is. I just mm. something's weird. Ah. <sighs> And Gen will will telepathically talk to uh, Sledge. Yeah, she thinks you're being weird now. So, uh, what's up? Uh, well, did she check yes or no? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, there is there is something off with her. I uh, did you not sense it? She's almost like uh, uh, all of a sudden. We're the enemies. She's she's uh, standing back. She you two are going to talk about me. You might as well do it out loud. <laughs> she can just see us staring at each other. <laughs> and out loud. Well, fair point. You, since we've entered here, you've been well, very quiet. Which, although not completely uh, out of character for you, there have been some very important points you haven't spoken to and and well you're you're standing way back in the back what yes i'm standing in the back because that guy is weird and you're throwing spells at slime that could potentially hit me i'm staying out of the way when have i ever okay well, let's not answer that question or line of questionings about when i may or may not have messed up now um okay okay i'm i'm willing to to let this go 
However, I just feel that there needs to be a little more uh, trust is all, a little more trust. Uh, Sledge, not everybody has to talk all the time. And we are showing great trust in each other so far. You are the one who is making this all weird by bringing it up. But uh, Riala, I would really appreciate it if you could help me break this damn thing because well, Sledge is just going to set it on fire and that makes me rather nervous. It came a little bit close last time and I don't want my hair to get burned. Again, we'll throw another couple of, of blades. Let me let me help. Um, as uh, as this is all taking place, Quill uh, Quill kind of leans over to Aerith as you are about to go past him, um, right on top of Narcissus again, mm. and says, uh, "Oh, this is this is working swimmingly. We're we're out of here soon. This is this is good stuff." This is, and then he, and then he looks at we- Raven and says, "This is good stuff." Mm-hmm. We're getting further than you, and I just stop. Mm. You, you can thank Mickey for that. Who is Mickey? Oh, no, just, story, I'll just you. I'll figure it out. Story for another time. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> Do I need to roll to hit? And no, no, no. Just, just roll, roll, roll for damage. Roll for damage. Uh, should I just keep? I just keep smashing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah but... pieces continue coming off. Most of what Sledge has set on fire falls to the ground. Uh, it is still like uh, issuing noxious smoke. You can tell the barrier is starting to get very thin, though. Oh, right. Your rape here is also magical, isn't it? I was about to be like, wait, I forgot. It's magic. I just keep going. I just like. Whack, oh well, whack, no, you whack, can't take like breathe. ten turns in a row. Everyone else has had one <laughs> one turn. Oh yeah. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah. Okay, that you just that, took okay. three turns in a row. Sorry, I took three turns. Sorry, yeah. I didn't realize we were like initiating it. Sorry, right. my bad. That's my how, bad. It's okay. Um, it's it's role play. All right, can I do it again? Uh, sure, sure. So you, you guys definitely are making progress. There, there's a like up in the corner. There's there's an actual hole through and so it, it maybe a couple more rounds while you guys oh, wait, RP wait. a little sorry ignore um, that second rule it's actually supposed to be this here we go so six and eight ignore that second one or no no eight eight third eight. one up <laughs> um yeah again you're knocking you're knocking pieces off um so that is 16 although you said i could get half of my sneak attack right yes the, right. My other favorite thing is you guys think I'm actually counting damage on this window. Oh, fair I'm enough. Trying to get you to a point in RP. This okay. is just this is just a MacGuffin. What uh, question? Sure. Um, if I use a spell that means a saving throw on slime, how does that work? I mean, it, prob- it, it like, probably it probably isn't. It's not wise. It's not dexterous. It doesn't know my, a whole my lot. only damage cantrip is toll of the dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll say that you can do that, and and a and and a piece just fucking flies off, and suddenly, right. just and like, like her old self, me. it seems like Riala is back into the mix. Yeah, I Thanks. walk up next to Sledge, and I kind of give him a little wink, and I toll the dead. And it makes like, instead of like shake weights that are like goofy, I do like really like fancy ornate weights, just like as a, a mimicry of what he does, but like classier <laughs> for my Toll of the Dead and just kind of like wink at him. I'm uh, really worried that the reason he wants us to like RP is because Quill is ta- is casting something that has a long cast time. Again, and we again, just I like... Ken does want to say something to Quill. Um, so you're telling me mm, you were in here for three days and you never tried attacking with magic. <sighs> well, I can, and he will cast light, and suddenly the 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 slime is all lit up. I can I could have made it bright. He'll take his mage hand and he'll just slap at it. I could have hit it with my mage hand 
and he hits it with prestidigitation and sucks up a lot of the smoke that's issuing forth from the one that Sledge burn. I could clean it, but um, in case you didn't notice, I don't have my instrument. I don't really have a lot in the way of offensive magic with no dagger, no sword, no instrument. Oh, that's I why can you make want us it... to get you out of here before we hit you with the dagger. Because I can then make you can it hurt right. us. Well, rest assured, I have ways I could have done that already, but you're right. I did not think of of magical attack on it. What uh, kind of weapon? I mean, what kind of instruments can you play? Uh, mostly stringed instruments. Uh, my my lyre is a. Uh, is is sometimes it's backstage, sometimes it's in my room. Hmm. Uh, please, we seem to almost be through. And he's still non-threateningly, uh, other than like whipping his fucking light canter about. He is uh he is non-threateningly sitting there smoking his pipe. Which smells okay. far better than the <laughs> burning slime that Sledge has lit on fire. <laughs> Some good shaka. Hey, hey, Sledge. <laughs> hey, Sledge. Uh, yeah, um, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that earlier. Um, I definitely was feeling weird. I, I don't know what's going on, but I'm, so, I'm sorry I was so rude to you. Um, I, I didn't mean it. Uh, it's. <clears throat> It's okay. I just, uh, well, you were just, it's unlike you to be back there and, and uh, not a part of this. And did it, what did it feel like? I mean, you, you seem distrusting and, and almost, uh, well, almost hostile. Yeah. I mean, it, it felt like you were all possibly trying to deceive me or, work against me somehow i don't know it, i was very suspicious of all of you and he's really creepy uh, point at quill when you Aww. point when you point at him he has come over and and just he he very gently to you says it's 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 renee uh, a a common beholder tactic is to to cause distrust in those that he thinks might be his enemy so that they turn on each other, and then he won't have to deal with them. Um, he he is insidious, and I am sorry that that has happened to you. It, is it, there a way to get rid of it? I I believe that it it does fade. It it comes and goes for a little while. I mean, we are probably in <clears throat> super close proximity to him, especially once we get back into the manor. We'll be in proximity. Um, it, it, you may have to manage it, but, and then he kind of looks at the rest of you. It, it, it will not be something that she wants to do. She doesn't, she doesn't think that you are against her. It's just something that she's being made to do. Is there a way to shield her mind from it? Kill the beholder. And he'll fucking whip out another light cantrip on the slime again. While this is going on, Aerith is going <coughs> to be shooting messages um, to Narcissus and Gen, who are like not in the the, the out loud vocal conversation, and will um, be saying, "I think once he's out, he's going to pose a threat. What if we? Why don't we just?" hit him with the knife now why I, I, why is Raven holding back I don't know I am confused by some things that Raven said she said something about a, another organization that will cast light into the shadows wasn't that what Rayala said would save him that there was something like that in the book and also wasn't that the line that was like underlined when we were reading the book something similar i am very worried that raven is either not the same raven 
or is not who we once thought she was. I think we need to get the dagger off of her. Are my uh, notes on the they, screen again? Damn. They need something stolen. Well. I do not That's... think that Quill will turn against us on his own will at this moment. He seems to quite like us, but... Uh... Are you guys still attacking the slime while this is all going on? No, no, no. I mean, Aerith would have basically, like, when she's still hitting it, but she's very obviously not trying to cause she's it damage right now. Yeah, yeah, she's pulling her punches. She's kind of... So it doesn't arouse suspicion, but she's really not. She's, no, yeah, she's buying no time. Is Narcissa no still whacking it? No, she looks very weak and tired. Like, all of her anger has just been, like, drained out of her from her hits, and she's just like... Standing there, kind of like panting, just like <sighs> calming down a bit. Um, and so as you hear actual... her breathing like that, and you're like, mm. Mm -hmm. trying to let the actual stronger people do more of the work. <laughs> if she's going to do some more, it'll be magic damage. Um, I think, I think we need to potentially bring Sledge and Riala into this once they're done talking, and once that conversation wrapped up uh Aerith will then kind of shoot the same kind of message individually to both sledge and then riala um regarding uh, a potential concern about raven and getting the the dagger before again, he we'll, is released again we'll we'll talk back to Aerith again i repeat do you need something stolen i believe we do yes I but i want to make sure everyone's on board before we do that I, whenever you're talking to me, I would say, yes, I agree. I think we need someone to distract him because he's probably going to know. I mean, I know your brother has sticky fingers, but a distraction will probably help. I have a plan. Raven and I bonded earlier and, and I, I don't know why if if she is not who we think she is i don't understand why she would do that but maybe i can talk with her and and maybe it'll, i don't know if it will or not but has has she been with sure us sure seemed to not be putting a whole lot of power in your punch there as I'm he realizes tired. <laughs> that you have all like stopped talking and are just silent looking at each other talking and you two are just at the wall like this Oh no, I've stopped doing that now. I'm now so looking you, through my you I'm one, looking through my bag of holding. You one are just at the wall doing this. There's no more sparks, there's no more pieces, there's no more spider webbing. It's, uh, just just you, give me a minute. I'm tired. And uh Narcissus will out of her bag of holding pull out a loot. I do not prefer this as of course, you see what I normally play. But if you are willing to work with us, it might perhaps help you help us get out of here altogether. He is he is genuinely taken aback. And I, I know, even if it's not your favorite instrument, what instruments mean to bards. So I will I will borrow this from you and return it at the end. Thank, thank you. Why would Thank you give you. him a weapon? Why would you give him a weapon? <laughs> and he she uh, bet on the TPK. And he begins to like, you know, tune it and play it a little bit. And I mean, he 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 seems like he's a little bit rusty, um, but but he is quickly kind of picking back up into his his playing. <laughs> Sledge again, Riala. We can't trust Narcissus or Raven now. <laughs> <laughs> Right now we're having the circle of distrust of everybody. We can only trust Riala sometimes. <laughs> As I said to Sledge, we all have to trust each other, and that includes Quillia. And now we have an extra hand to help us get out of here. And a beholder is no easy foe. Raven, you've got some um, goo on your shoe there. I don't think I've right. it all off. At, at this point, Aerith would have head over to Raven 
Yeah. And would start just trying to chat to Raven so that Gen could potentially try and take the yeah uh, the thing. Gen is going to sort of move before he goes off to do that. Uh, Gnosis is going to tap him on the shoulder and say, "Good luck," and give him bardic inspiration. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, but I make my own luck. He says telepathically. And then he'll. Uh... Does he reject it or does he ha- does he keep it? No, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I'm need it. I'm going to use it. I just want you to know I don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is it what what die type is the bardic inspiration? It's a d6, right? It's a d10. Uh, no, it's oh, a d10. D10? D10 at yeah. this level, yeah. Of level 10. All right. Damn, girl. Well, Mm-hmm. All right, so I am going to try and pick Raven's mm-hmm. pocket for the uh, dagger. Ooh. All right, so roll a sleight of hand. Um, Aerith, are you? What are you doing to distract Raven? I will be just kind of going over and and, and chatting with Raven. I'm hoping that will maybe give him advantage, but I don't know. But she's just trying to kind of be like. Do hey, the yeah. arm touch, the arm touch, you know? Yeah, you're like, going gonna to have to do something I a just, little more to potentially I, distract Raven. I want to, before we leave this room, I have something I kind of want to ask. I was unsure what that hug meant earlier. I didn't know if it was as a friend or if it was something more. And I just wanted to... It's been on my mind and I feel like it's making me miss some of my shots. And if we're going to fight something, I need to have a clear mind and I can't have something like that weighing me down. All right. I'm going to let Gin roll his sleight of hand with perception. Raven, you roll. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sleight of hand with perception with advantage. Raven, you roll perception, please. All right. I'm going to roll with advantage, but I'm also going to use. uh, Oh, Oh, I rolled below 10 both times, but I am going to. Roll inspiration, and I am going to roll my side boat bolstered knack. So that is <laughs> six plus seven plus twenty. Get it. 35, 42, 42 on side of hand. Okay. Oh, so, what was the meaning of life? <laughs> <laughs> See if you can beat that with your perception. <laughs> Uh, sure. Let me roll a couple 20s and add them all together. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a 26. <laughs> Which is still great, but she has, she has distracted you at least enough that, that he has, that Gen has pulled the dagger off of you. Even, even without all the extra bonuses, he's still above what my max could be. <laughs> yeah. All right, Gin, you have the, uh, but uh, yeah, she just right. leans over to Aerith and just whispers to her and Nelvin. It's like, well, that's free to find out when he's not around. As I'm sure you can figure out who I meant by that. <laughs> and then Aerith, you hear Gen's voice in your mind. Hmm? I have it. Do I strike now? Uh, <sighs> I mean. I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Gen is going to try and sneak up on Quill and go for the sneak attack with the dagger. Uh, okay. and, and and while he's doing that, Aerith is still going to be continuing the talk with Raven so that maybe Raven doesn't see Gen doing it or is like less likely to see him do it. But okay. do you tell just... anybody else that you got it? Um. Got it, boys. Because if not, Sledge is looking at himself in Riala's armor and probably sees you walking up and he's like, ah, yes, uh, again, is here to admire. And what is happening? Um, <laughs> I would have to tell every person individually, but that's only like three people. So three steps, uh, three people. <laughs> I guess I will. I will. As, as he as he steps, he will. He'll, he'll, you'll you'll each hear his voice in your head. I have it. <laughs> Shit's about to go down. Wait, what does that mean exactly? <laughs> uh, all right, so um, make a let's let's say make a make a, just make a stealth roll, 
and get um, up, get above his uh passive hearing, perception of 12 hearing that i would like to um start kind of like talking instruments and like strumming little oh, bits no. along with quill in order to so here's the thing he has a passive of 12 you rolled a 24 it has a nat 1 in there but like he looks over and sees you and is kind of back into so he knows that you're there. You won't get like a, a sneak attack bonus, but he has not noticed that you're, he's noticed that you're moving around, but not that you're moving in for a strike. Cause it's like, right. Oh, music you say. <laughs> so that would allow you to get into position. And if you want to make uh, an attack strike, you certainly may. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm just going to roll the attack roll for, well, hold on. Let's see. I should have a dagger in my inventory somewhere that I can use. Here we go. Me too to hit. That is a solid hit. Roll for damage. Oh, is it just dagger damage? Is it curse removal damage by chance? It's, uh, normal, but it's just dagger. All right. That is, so you said no sneak attacks. So that's just six piercing. But and so uh, when I was uh, the last time I was in Waterdeep, motherfucker, <laughs> and you you absolutely just fucking shank him with it, and you're there looking at, looking at his eyes, and he looks down, and you look down, and there is not a drop of blood. Oh, did I forget to tell you that unless I want to be damaged here, I am unable to be damaged here? One of the perks of being in prison. They didn't Fine want the guards. Me, I wasn't trying to hurt you. They didn't want the guards to kill the uh the only inmate. And he will Why hand the guards want to kill And you? he will hand the uh the loot back to you, Narcissus. Well played. All right. You said we could get out of here. Let's get out of here. I head back to the slime. <laughs> Told the you, dead. <laughs> you, uh, you head back to it and just with the, the one crestfallen failure whack, you hit it and the, the remainder of the slime fucking shatters and just all of you are sucked out into space. Um, <laughs> Final frontier. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta get to where we're going here. As Just you on are, a note, Narcissus wouldn't have accepted the loot back. She uh, meant what she said about trusting him. Well, that, that's so he's he has his arm extended to hand it to you when Aerith breaks the the last of the shit, and you guys get sucked through. Um, you guys, as as you're kind of moving through this space, you begin to hear like talking, crowd noises, some laughing, a little bit of music in the background. And you are whisked to... Hold on, I gotta redo the stream map here. You are whisked to... Ah, something that is <laughs> fully obscured by Fog of War. What do you do? Uh, we cry toward the end. <laughs> I cast light! <laughs> We asked Quill to cast light also. <laughs> cast Polygon Reveal. Cast Polygon Reveal. Absolutely. So, you guys are dumped out in the middle of a party. And there's people talking, there's some music playing. Uh, you use town folk all around you and um, it just it seems pretty normal save for the fact that on the stage over in the uh, eastern side you see what looks like another quill and a beholder um <laughs> So we're going to make 
the quill that has been with you, quill red. Oh, he's a red shirt. <laughs> and we're going to make this quill quill blue. Now you can... Uh, I know who you're talking about, but yeah, you guys... Uh, whose aura is that? That is mine. Assuming 10 minutes ah, gotcha, is gotcha. lost. Um, we're close on that, but we'll we'll say that we'll say it, we'll, we'll say that it's still up. I'm good with that. Um, you guys pop out and um, you like just fucking show up like right between um, Henrietta and Josephus and Ulrich, and they're like, "Wow, how did you? Hey, it's it's you from earlier. How did how did you do that? That is amazing." Do these people look like solid, like real people, or do they have that essence of woodenness? Roll, roll a perception check. Is, is Big Boy looking our way, or is he like not looking out right now? Twenty-four. Uh, they look as they did in the town. So if you, if you if you look straight on, they totally look normal. But if you look at them, kind of just in the the periphery here. You see, it's like, oh, there's, there's some elements of wood there, and that looks like some paint dabbed on. Um, um, I'll tell Gen just to disseminate that, like, hey, these people still look like wooden painted weirdness going on. And then, Raven, to answer your question, um, he is... Somewhat looking your way, but his attention mostly seems focused on Blue Quill. And we'll go ahead and tell that to each person, by the way. And he does get tired of repeating himself. <laughs> um... So looking at uh, Quill Red, uh, Sledge will look to him, look at Quill Blue, back to Quill Red, and... He he will see you looking back and forth, and he'll say, Fucking got me, man. As far as I know, I'm him, but I... I don't... This is such a weird-ass place. Maybe I'm not. Uh, mentally out to, to again, um, the fact that he doesn't bleed, quote unquote, I, I don't know if that's a, if it's a sign that it is the real him or the exact opposite. I, I, I I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it's only a sign that he believes he's him. We can't be sure. At this point, Mickey and Matilda and Stannis all notice you. Like, Quill! And they all run over to, to say hello to him. And you all recognize Stannis here as the one who had his head caved in earlier. Ah. Seems pretty fine now. Uh, but there is a, a big kind of hubbub. Um, and um, and everyone is, is kind of coming over to see him. And then they kind of... Uh, oh, yeah, it's good to see. And they look upon the stage at Quill Blue. And then they look back to all of you. And Quill Red. Mostly they look at Quill Red. They kind of don't give a fuck about y'all. They look at Quill Red. Uh, yes, you actually could say that out loud, uh, Raven. It's, it's um, like, hello, double Oryx. That's true. And double Trinos. Mm-hmm. Uh, technically, one of those is, is Damien, but... The oh, okay. sure looks like an exact, an exact this copy. Is, 
This is feeling more and more like uh, like a marionette show uh, by by the instant. Uh, well, the dagger didn't seem to. This is mentally, by the way. The dagger didn't seem to uh, quite have the results we were expecting. Um, and unless I'm the only one that's seeing uh, Renacor over there, uh, what's our play here, guys? Uh, whistle and walk out the front door? Um, <laughs> yeah, Buddy's going to let that happen. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Um, I What's the... What is Blue Quill Blue doing? Does he seem to have noticed Quill Red? Um Yeah, so I was yeah, I was giving you guys like just a half of a breath there to come up with a plan, but as soon as there's a commotion and they say Quill and he looks up and they're all moving away from him and then he sees the other quill, and he's... Huh. And you guys have just a half breath more before we got to do that big <laughs> roll for I. I, 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 <laughs> I, I get away unscathed? <laughs> that roll? Um, uh, well, Sledge has said that. Basically, he, he has communicated mentally. You know, uh, the dagger seems to have fallen through, so what? what's our play is uh what he said as he begins to you know mingle I no <laughs> i think we're going to be fighting our way out of this and we probably shouldn't be in a big crowd oh, sorry <laughs> oh gosh that's what renicor sounds like you're welcome ambient noise <laughs> 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 this is a fully immersive experience Um, so as in a moment, would that be like, uh, as in, six seconds as, worth of time? as in your moment is done. Oh. So anyone else who hasn't talked, <laughs> Riala, Raven, Gen, Aerith, Narcissus. Uh, I, I don't know who's real. Kill them all. <laughs> Love the plan. Raven. I'm going to walk over to Mickey and ask him if he has, has some uh, new shaka on hand. Uh, Mickey always has Shaka. Exactly. Um, Narcissus. I'm just gonna start moving forward a little bit. Okay, I like it. Um, you, in the depths of your mind, so familiar from last night, you hear that laugh again. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, this is the first time for me, so I just like turn. Yes, I'm like, that's I'm true. shouting it again mentally, like, stop. You're like, what? That- what the hell's that laugh? Uh, and I need everyone, and I mean everyone, to roll for initiative. Oh dear, dear, dear. Oh, whoops, I forgot to select my token. Hate it when that happens. Here we go. Uh, well, it's a 24, but I actually got 21. Mm, all right, is that everybody in? Descending. All right, Sledge. You are the first to act. Well, I like to think the thunder outside my window is adding to the ambiance of the stream. It really is. Um, All right. So I will actually. Um. Let's see who's here. Okay, I will take a 
Raven, where did you go? Okay, Raven, you move fast everywhere. All right, so fine. <laughs> and, um, so I actually am going to uh, come to here. And as my action, mm -hmm. I actually begin to cast um, a spell. And um, as I do, uh, the dung bell starts to kind of spin on its axis faster, 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 faster. And it starts to like hit the ground and kind of run around Sledge's feet. And he's like, hey, hey, hey stop, come here, come on. And he grabs it and he, and he squeezes down the haste spell into a tiny moat. And he gives it to Raven and he says, I know you'll know when to use this. Um, and then he will use the rest of his movement to get behind Morlan. Hey. Um, and that is what Sledge is doing. So now, Raven, you do have a moat uh, that contains. Well, the spell let's not hands. get ahead of ourselves yet. Oh, oh. You go to cast a spell, your dumbbell, he... you, okay. you do that, and your dumbbell appears and then just dissolves in front of you. Okay, I didn't realize he was suppressed. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right. I didn't realize he was actually looking at us. Uh, uh, the token looks like he's looking away. So no, you're good. You're good. Uh, but true. Uh, so that's that happened because anyway. That happened anyway. So for sure. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, and you and you oh. and you lost the yeah. any any spell slots for it. So gotcha. You. you know that for now, the cone is covering at least where you were. Got you. And I would still move to right there. And um, <laughs> I'm going to help you out. Oh shit! I'm going to go over here. Yeah, and basically, uh, I'm like, is that oil on the ground? Uh, yes, it is oil on the ground. And, um, yeah, Did so you make is... oil in your pants? <laughs> it's, it's, I'm very uh, lathered, and that is what I can do. Is that uh, oil in your pants, or are you just happy to see me? Uh, again. Okay. So. Uh... Hey, why don't we change the music? Let's see. Because Ice Palace is not the right thing. I think Skirmish is probably better. I'm going to try and throw a Psychic Blade at uh, the Beholder here. Okay. Run core. Uh, let's see. And so the, drawing the Psychic Blade is a magical effect? It, it is a psionic uh, magic, yeah, I suppose. So as you as you reach to where you normally reach to pull that psychic essence to form that blade to throw, you reach and grab, and it's it's as though your your holster is empty. Okay, is it still an action then? Pardon? Is it still an action though then? Yes, yes. So you you tried the attack and, and the attack fizzled basically that's fine i'm gonna still try and can i try and get up on the stage sure yeah it's only about three feet high okay i'll get up there and then there's a door here right uh this uh oh yes there is a there's, there is a pair of doors there okay that's dangerously close to where all the Exciting action is though. That it is. But I could bonus action dash, although. Yeah, I would definitely provoke. Well, hold on. Are Eevee or, or Quill armed? Is my question. Um, it's it, it's hard. To, they don't have any weapons out being brandished yet. Okay then I don't care about any attacks of opportunity at the moment. I'm going to bonus action dash and try and get through those doors. Okay. Do it up. They are locked fast. Oh, crap. If you, if you hold uh, alt while you position your character, you can make him go off square and put him like right at the doors. Uh, they are locked tight. Oh, crap. All right. Well, that's no good for me. Um, let's see. I've gone, what, about 20 feet? It was like 25 to get to Narcissus, and then, five, 10, and then another 15. So you could back up nearly to her. Huh. Yep. I'll, I'll back up to 
uh, right here and turn uh, and just say to Narcissus, uh, hi again. B Blue Quill, he doesn't make an attack of opportunity, but he kind of reaches out with a hand like, hey, get away from here. Kind of like admonishing you a little bit. Uh, anything else? No, that's my turn. Narcissus. Oh, you right. Um, so I'm going to do something a little unexpected and I'm going to use my crossbow. Oh, okay. And who are you shooting at? The beholder. That is a 24 to hit. That hits. So that is six piercing damage. Okay. Minus six. Uh, yeah, it it sticks into his uh his fleshy meatball body. And for my bonus action, I am gonna use my bardic inspiration, unsettling words. I'm going to say, "I bet with those eyes, and you didn't see that one coming." Um. So for his uh, next saving throw, he's gonna have to. Minus a d10. Wow. Okay. Keep track of that if you would. Um, because uh, this is just like so many screens and pieces of paper printed. Um, sure. That's uh, the end of my turn. Alrighty. Raven. Okay. Well, I love it when I have my plan come together. It's going to get all up in uh, in Mr. Renicor's face and uh, as object interaction, I'm going to reach into one of my pouches, assuming that the, everything is co is all copacetic here, buddy. Sure. All right. And I pull out. <laughs> but uh yes yeah, so, so i pull out some um what looks to be peppers a really bright red pepper that squished between my hands which may or may not be a carolina reaper pepper which we find the equivalent of something inside the realm of the forgotten realms and uh i intend to punch it into renacor's eye to hopefully maybe make him cry and you know close it <laughs> okay I can't wait. Mm-hmm. All right, so that is 16 on the die, so 26. To, to uh, hit? Yes. Yep, that'll hit. Okay. I mean, I see I'm making, making you come up with something on the fly, <laughs> basically. Or uh, I'll be... Nine points, unless he, unless this is part of his arc, and if it is, then it'll be eight points. Uh, you are within his his cancellation arc, yes. Okay, so then it'd, it'd be eight points. Okay. On the first one. You know, whatever you just feel like having fun with that uh, other little aspect. We'll, uh, uh, we'll probably get to that on his turn. Mm-hmm. And then to make it even worse, stunning strike. <laughs> Oh, huh. okay. What's my save on that? Uh, it's DC 15, but I believe he also has cutting words, unselling words against him. Right, but what uh, what kind of save it's is con. it? Constitution save. A constitution save. Yes. Gotcha, okay. Well. And it'll be minus three from whatever he rolled. Seven, 21 minus three is... Uh, 18. Yeah, that's more than good. Does that beat your save? For now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second attack. <laughs> and that, that unsettling words was just on one save, correct? Okay. Because I don't know how many of those I can pull out of the hat. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. So the next one will be a dirty 20. Dirty 20 hits. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. So seven more points of damage. All right. That's adjusted for mm -hmm. anti-magic. Yeah, right. I, yeah. I'm I'm, not, I'm mitigating uh, the the one off of there. Okay. And uh, we'll, we'll make you try again. And um, yeah, another stun, maybe. <laughs> I figure I'm, I'm trying to mess this thing up one way or the other. Um, so that's an actual 18. A 14 and a four. Mm -hmm. Purple and black gummy. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, buy some now. Crackandice.com. Uh, all right. And next attack. All righty. So, yes. Uh, flurry of blows. Okay. Yep. All right. So that would be twenty-five to hit. Hits. Uh, seven more points of damage. All right. I don't think I can make a third save. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe you won't make me try. I'll, I'll, I'll be nice for this round, you know, for this moment. I'll, okay. I'll, let, I'll let you slide this one. Okay. Just know he's getting a lot of pepper in the eye. <laughs> appreciated, appreciated. All mm -hmm. right, so is that the, is that your uh, turn? Then I got one more on the oh. floor of blues. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Mm. And then the last one is going to be a 19. Oof, just hits. And... Then uh, still, even being inside of his, his anti-magic, the, the feathers still flow down the monk's arm because Key breaks that. Hey, Key. Really? Yeah, Key nice. is, is sweet because it breaks through anti-magic. Yeah, fucking monks, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's why the stunning strikes were, were still being effective. Oh, true, true. Technically. All right. So 12 plus 8. That'd be 20 points of damage. Oof. All right. And then I just stare at it and say in, in a under common, I've dealt with one of you dead. Now I'll see if I can make you dead also. Ooh, nice one. Um, all right. Good. Okay. So, on uh, initiative 20 behind mm -hmm. Raven mm -hmm. are the lair actions. Um, so I am going to choose uh, walls within 120 feet of the beholder sprout grasping appendages until initiative count 20 on the next round. Each creature of the Beholder's Choice that starts its turn within 10 feet of such a wall must succeed in a DC 15 deck save or be grappled. So, again, Narcissus, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Chucklefuck and Chucklefuck's wife and Matilda and Quill Red and Aerith and Riala and Sledge. Everybody, please make uh, everyone except for oh, actually including Raven because he's within a wall as well. Um, DC fifteen deck save. So Narcissus has passed. Grindy or uh, again has passed. Sledge has not. So um, close. Um. The, on a save like that, we don't normally do a roll off, so. Uh, meet to beat. We'll say that you have beaten that, uh, Aerith, uh, and Raven has beaten that. So, uh, Riala, did you roll? I did, and I failed. Okay. So, Sledge and Riala and Henrietta and Josephus and Matilda and... Oh, I got to roll for Quill Red. Um... Hi, wall buddy, Riala. Uh, no, Quill... <laughs> Cool red grappled as well. Uh, lair actions, man, awesome. So, I don't know if that's the word for it. <laughs> that's a word. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give everybody that's grappled has the wrench. 
<clears throat> um, and then it is Renacor's turn. And what I will say is this, Raven. I was I did not expect the pepper thing on <clears throat> each subsequent turn for this mm -hmm. round. I will roll my my Kraken D2. And on a Kraken, the anti-magic field is it stays. On a one, it fails, but you all will not know which I have rolled. <laughs> um, all right, so Renicor now will do uh, his eye rays. So he shoots three eye rays rolled at random at targets of his choice. So, a six, an eight, and a ten. It's an eight and a ten. Oof, holy shit balls. Um, all right, so these the six is a telekinetic ray. He's going to shoot that at uh, Raven. Please make a DC 16 strength save. He's a little special. Mm. All right. So that plus my strength is actually going to be a 17. Holy shit balls. Um, all right. And, you, if, you, and if the magic is, if magic's back on, it's a, what is it, a 19. Um, gotcha. No, you, you have passed that. Mm -hmm. Um, I need Narcissus to make a DC 16 deck save, please. Son of a bitch, you have saved as well. Um, I am Limber. And I need Gen to make a DC 16 deck save. Ooh. Son of a bitch. Um... Alrighty, the uh, the beholder is going to fly straight up so that he will be out of punchy punch range, and I'm sure that will provoke an AO, and that's okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, so twenty four to hit. Twenty four hits. Hmm. 11 points of damage. Okay. And I, I, was, I was nice on the last one, but I'm going to, you know, put, put the extra stank back on it. So, uh, con save. <laughs> so he might be stunned just up in the air. <laughs> uh, 17. Still good. Uh, okay, and that is his turn. <laughs> Riala, you are grappled. So a uh, an athletics check or an acrobatics check, uh, DC 15 can break the grapple. Uh, wait, I have to make a strength check, you said? Uh, Riala is next. Oh, Riala, okay, sorry. Yeah, oh. athletics or acrobatics, DC 15 will break the grapple. Gotcha. Um, I I think I'm actually just going to attempt to toll the dead and okay. see what happens. Sure. Cast it up. Uh, that's a wisdom save 16. Your spell fizzles. That was the information I wanted. So I I roll it I roll it every every one though so. Yeah. Um. Anything else for you? Nope. So I am going to use a legendary action. 
a six. Um, he is going to fire his telekinetic ray at Narcissus. Uh, DC 16, strength save, please. Oof. You are now pushed. Uh, can you move yourself? One, two, three. Can you move yourself between Riala and uh, Henrietta? You have been pushed away. Um, you are also... Uh, you're good on that. Um, all right, so now it is... Red Quill. And uh, Red Quill is going to also try, he's going to try to break out of the um, the grapple. And that is a natural 20, so he has broken out of the grapple. Um, and he will look at all of you and say, we need to fucking go now and that's what he's going to do with his turn at the end of his turn I will use a legendary action uh, and I'm going to uh, need Gen to make a DC 16 wisdom save you make it okay DC 16 wisdom save. Yes. Uh oh. Ooh. You have failed that. And so you, my friend, are asleep. Um, Wait a minute. I can't be magically put to sleep. I'm an elf. Oh, uh, wow. Then he fucking boned that. <laughs> He's, uh, dude, he's like extra fucking mad now. Yes, yeah, um, that all, was that all Quill who did that? Pardon? Uh, no, that was the Beholder. It was a Oh, legendary. okay. I was going to yeah. say, I was like, what? Um, no, he's like, he's, uh, he, he is extra fucking mad now. Uh, Aerith. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to say to, to, to our Quill and be like, Go where? And then I'm going to head over to the Beholder. Um, and I'm presuming... He's going to say, away from here! <laughs> where? So I'm then going to... Um, I'm going to put... Uh, in the... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So how, how high up is he? He's about 25 feet up. Oh, damn it. Okay, maybe I won't go. Because I can't... I can't... I can't get, I can't reach him with any of my stuff, so I'll just use my crossbow. Um, there you go. Okay, crossbow was... works, man. This shit stacks up. Um, Can you fire a light crossbow three feet. times? Oh, I don't know. Hold on, let me see. Because it, um, it, it's loading, is that right? Can she shoot that three times, Z? It just says you can attack three times whenever you take the attack action on your turn. Right, but across... Yeah, we had this discussion before. Unfortunately, the crossbows, unless you have crossbow expert, that has that loading property, which slows you down. Ah. So you can, you can shoot once with the crossbow, or if you had like a normal bow or crossbow expert, you could you know, do all your shots, unfortunately. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I can't, so... I'll That's all right, that, that, that 27 still hits. All right, and uh, 10... that is 10 piercing damage. Um, cannot do the psionics because magic is just bouncing well you back. might be able to i um i roll every turn because of the peppers that raven has put in his eyes so it, it, it the cone may be on or it may be off you do not know didn't i see riala her thing bounce e back every though? every every oh, time every, literally oh okay well then yeah i will um i will try with my psionic strike uh that was damage not to hit whoopsie mm -hmm. uh hold on yeah, because a four for sure don't hit. Yeah, how do I roll to hit with that? Uh, four. 
Uh, can oh, you I can do just it? expend and just deal that damage. Oh, okay. I don't okay. think I have to, to hit. So yeah, yeah. It, it seems like it went through that time. He Ooh. he he kind of fucking winced from it. Okay. Um, and then I will. You need to make a strength saving throw DC fourteen or full prone. Um, I am immune to prone. Well, then you can move up to ten feet in any direction <laughs> horizontally. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, then I can or I must. Uh, it just says, uh, um, you can, uh, you can, yeah, I can either do it. So can I move him horizontally? He's not that's side to side. So sure. I'll, I'll shove him into the blue quill. <laughs> uh, over top of him. I guess okay. so. Sure. Oh, oh, okay. That's if he fails the save. Oh, you know what? I didn't even roll it. Here, let me roll. Sorry. Uh, that's only... That's a 10. Yeah, no, I think he gets moved. Sorry again. I'm sorry. Uh, all right. What else? That's that's you? all I can do, really. Um, um. All right. So he is uh, it's a little taken aback by being moved over. So he's uh, just going to grumble a little bit, and it is going to be ooh, Blue ooh. Quill's turn. Sorry, sorry, just a, a quick question. Sorry. Sure. Um, can I... Uh, oh, I already... Have we had a short rest since... Since uh, we started today? No. Yeah, damn it. Okay, no worries. Ignore me. <laughs> I mean, I gave you a long. Did you did you want a short too? Yeah. I used an action surge, and I want an action surge. <laughs> um. So blue quill. Is going to step forward. To the edge of the stage. Now, listen here. I do not know who that man is, but you, you, you must restrain him. I am Errant Quill, and this this is the manner in which I live. And you, everyone, you must restrain him. And the town folk are scared out of their fucking gourds, but they do, like, a, a little bit start to kind of look toward um, Red Quill. Um, and then he will take his last legendary action this round, Renacor will. Okay. Um, again, please make a DC 16 deck save. God damn, you've got to be, you've got to not get it at one point. <laughs> ah, um, all right. Top of the order. Oh, um, so, um, let's do this. First things first, um, tentatively, uh, Sledge. You're going to, you're going to stay grappled. Uh, yeah, I'm just double checking the distance here. Uh, how far is he from me with the whole vertical height and, and all that fun stuff? So he's, let's say he's like 80 feet vertically from you. That should be enough to cast most of your spells. Oh, you're looking for a 60 footer, aren't you? I am. I am. All right. Yeah, he's, you... yeah he's 60 feet. I'll, I'll let you do that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to speed us along here. I know. I know. So anyway, as a, as a bonus action, um, using the telekinetic feature, uh, I sort of reach out and I'm actually trying to, uh, pull him five feet, like a little, basically off of, oh wait, no, he moved, sorry, my bad. The uh, the blue guy moved. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to try to essentially pull him five feet, but what it really is, is me testing the magic. Um, so I kind of- Are you moving out and, Blue Quill or Renacor? Uh, Renacor, Renacor. Okay. So it would be a DC 19 constitution save. Um, uh, that's a 19, but you feel that the spell went off. You saw him struggle against it. 
Okay. Uh, and so when I, I sort of feel the the energies uh, coalesce, uh, Sledge kind of uh, flexes a little bit. He's like, ah, oh, that's more like it. And um, I will reach out and uh, as the dung bell starts to float, uh, I look at uh, Renicor and um, I say, now let me trap you in a fantasy of my own making. And I, I attempt to cast um, Mental Prison. Um, Ooh, tell me about Mental Prison. I shall, let me post it up for you. Uh, so it is a DC 19 uh, intelligence save. Once I get it in here, boom. Did that go across there? Uh, I mean, the spell description didn't here. Let me look it up. Mental prison. Oh, you said? sorry. Uh, yeah. So basically, he takes uh, uh, it's a intelligence saving throw, uh, DC nineteen. If he succeeds, he takes five d ten um, psychic damage, and and that's it. If or half of that, sorry. If he fails, uh, he takes the five d ten, and then he is stuck in an illusionary prison that he feels is real. Um, if he moves out of it uh, or is forced out of it, he takes 10d10 uh, psychic damage and the spell ends. But he can't see outside of that prison, uh, whatever, if he fails the save. Wow. Uh, all right. Let's 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 see how things go here. Uh, sorry, like all, all my windows just like minimized um, freaking out here because that is a great, great move. <laughs> um. All right, int save coming at you. Ah, what? What? what, what? I, I can't. I, I didn't save. I got All a twelve. Right. I got a twelve. So, so as <laughs> holy as shit, a fantasy of my own making. So he take he takes the twenty seven oh, points comes. for sure, yes. right? He does. Um, and uh, as the beholder's uh, mind's eye starts to kind of fade in a little bit, then there's like a flash of like a disco ball light and you see Sledge like in a quick pose, like, hey, and then another flash and Sledge is like kissing his bicep and then another flash and he's flexing backwards. And literally all, everywhere the beholder looks, it is just Sledge. Uh, you are stuck in a mental prison of Sledge pinups. Enjoy. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. And he can't perceive anything past those uh, sledge images. Um, let me double check on the save at the end, though. Uh, it is restrained for the spell's duration. Uh, if the target is moved out of the illusion, uh, makes a melee attack through it, or reaches any part of it through it, it takes 10d10 psychic damage and the spell ends. Wow. Um, all right, so you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that this actually affects his his lair effect of the grapples. So if if you're in the party and you are grappled, that has temporarily like the the vines are still there but they're having trouble kind of grasping you and before we get back to his turn to act i will say that if you guys want to try to beat feet um i will allow that to be something that you that you attempt um and wow. at the that is that is kudos man that is amazing uh, at the at the end, uh, you actually outwardly you actually see Sledge doing the poses, you know, outwardly as well. You know, he's like, eh, oh, uh, um, as the uh, uh, spell coalesces, and then that is all I can do. Nice little fine sweat amongst the oils here. Well, you have your movement though, because oh, your grapple. Oh has, yeah, because the grapple ended. is okay. is not grappling. Um. So in that case, I will actually move uh, 
towards sort of center room, towards where the door is. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'll kind of stand here and and as a free action, I'm not sure how long long he's going to enjoy staring at me. Um, We need to decide what we're going to do now. And that is what I can do. Amazing. All right, Gen. Okay. All right, I do want to see what's through those doors still, even though my sister blocked them off. Well, he's um, above, so they're not blocked. Right, so I will duck under him. I'm sure I'm sure he's hovering yeah, above yeah, where I Yeah, he's like, 20, like 25 feet in the air. Oh, nice, cool. All right, I'm going to try and unlock those doors. Um, Sure. Yeah, give me, a, give me a sleight of hand for your thieves tools. 34. Uh, yeah. It, uh, the door comes open, you, um, you open it up and it is a, a backstage area. Um, oh. there are just like props and, and, and things kind of just like strewn about back there. Oh, cool. So there's nothing interesting through here. That's what I'm getting. Um, wonderful. That's a kind of a waste of my time, except that I believe, let me take a look at what kind of action this is. I can catch up with everybody else anyway. Uh, It is, hold on, one sec, sorry. Looking for the, what kind of action is it? The um, psychic teleportation, it's a bonus action, excellent. So as a bonus action, I am going to throw a dagger. Let's see. How far can I? Okay, so I don't need to. Ten. I could go 100 feet if I wanted, but apparently I'm only going 30. Um, (laughs) Actually, actually, well, that door's not open, is it? This this one right here? Um, The lower doors? These doors. Sorry, yeah, these Um, doors. They they are not, but they they if if you kind of really give it a squint, they look to be ajar. All right, I'm gonna throw right through that crack if I can. Just sure to land right here. Oh, maybe not right there because that would take off that uh, that statue. I'll just be right here. That's fine. Um, so basically, he throws the the dagger, and like anyone who saw it before, they you, they would see. Uh, it sort of leave this glowing slash hanging in the air. And as he uh, runs toward the ed- edge of the stage, he uh, jumps off, slashing in the air as he goes, sort of falls into the slash below him and then pops out of the other one. Um, nice. That's a cool trick, man. I like that a lot. Any uh, Anything else? Anything for the switchboard? <laughs> um... Sure, I would. I would probably just start telling people. I think now's our chance. All right, uh, Narcissus. All right. Um, I'm going to take a chance and. Upcast Dissonant Whispers. So I need a DC 19 wisdom saving throw. From Renacor? Yeah. Actually, uh, also bonus action. I'm going to Bardic Inspiration on Settling Words Thought. <laughs> um, okay, so the, he has rolled a dirty 20. He has to minus yeah, two, so that's 18. 18. So he fails. So All he right. takes 23 psychic damage. Um, Just like kicking a motherfucker while he's down. Yeah. And um, he also needs to, if he can, uh, uh, use his reaction to move away from me. <laughs> But I don't know that he knows where I am or anything like that, given the whole. Yeah, he he, he cannot presence. he cannot perceive you. Yeah. 
and I'm going to give, tears you, give you this from one of the sledge pinups. I'm going to give you this as a gimme that if he moves away, he will break through the prison and the spell will end. Yeah. No, I, and I don't know that's couldn't... that's what you want. <laughs> no, no, I was I was figuring he couldn't actually use his reaction to remove if he was. I think. I he was oh, restrained. if he's restrained, he has zero speed. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no worries, no worries. Um, All right, so... are you going to move or are you going to stay? Um, I'm going to move just so that way I'm not at the wall. I'm going to just boop. I'm done. Uh, all right, uh, Raven. Okay. I'm going to shop back over to Red Quill. Listen, we're, we're still going to have that drink after this, but you need to get out of here. And I'm going to hardcore parkour up off the walls and onto the back of Renicor. Kind of in case I have to buy if I have to buy them anytime. Because I can run up up and down walls and stuff. Um, okay, hardcore parkour. You mm -hmm. are you are on this uh this flesh beast who uh at being that close, you can almost see all the different sledges that he is looking at. Um, I, I can see them reflected in the eye stock eye. <laughs> uh, um, or anything else for you? Yeah, once I'm up there, uh, it's, it's, an, it's like I'm just going to you know wail upon the uh, the beholder. And I uh, hope that everybody else gets, you know, gets their ass out of here. Okay. I feel like, I feel like Raven's trying to tell us something. Uh, Rod. Yeah. I feel yeah, like, like I, I really feel like the GM was giving you guys a chance to get out of this so we can I, end the I, stream. And then somebody had to keep on with the engagement. So... Let's uh, let's do it. I figured I'm, I'm just distracting Renicor if he happens to get you know free from his stuff. That was my uh, my, my my plan. I'm with it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get y'all out of here, man. All right, twenty nine. The hit. Uh, twenty nine hits. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm doing this muscle like you know one hand is like. Trying to wave them all out the door. So, eleven points of damage. Okay. And uh, twenty-five. So of hits. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, another eleven. Okay. Uh. Sure, we'll add, adding more pain to put pain for him, you know, just cause. I also want him to, the he's probably gonna pass it again, but I'll, I'll, start, I'll throw a stun. Uh, that is a crit fail, and I can move <laughs> my camera down if you want to see it. <laughs> I'll take your word. Um, so okay. that's just 11, and he is stunned now, yes, until the end of my next turn, okay. Alrighty, so if that actually happened, that changes a little bit my my mental plan. But that was, I was expecting them to probably succeed. <laughs> no, that was that was punishment for succeeding those three other times. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I'm on to let's see five, ten, five. So I got about twenty more. Yeah, so I'm gonna. Keep on, keep on waving them out of here, Trent. And it's going to just, you know, keep going. I'll be the last one to run out the door. And just tell, and just use your better judgment next time. And flare blows. 26. That hits. Another 11. And then a 19 to hit. Just hits. 
Uh, for 14. Oh, sorry, and then there's also uh, five points of necrotic on top of that. Okay. Because it happens automatically. Gotcha. Anything else for you? I'm just going to keep on trying, you know, waving at them to go. Yeah. Right. Are, you, are you done with all of your attacks, yeah. though? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. uh, so there, there is no lair action because he is trapped and stunned. He gets no turn because he is stunned until the end of your next turn. So everyone, since he is the only technically hostile person in here, everyone can make it... Uh, at least into the foyer, if not out into the front of the manor. Yeah, I will dash into All to here. Ass. Actually, I can then use my psionic leap to even go further, so I can actually get outside. Is that what everyone's plan is, is to move to outside the manor? I'm going to dimension door to outside the manor. <laughs> You're so funny. Are you going to take Red Quill with you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, you guys... Uh, Dimension door right out. Um, so in the interest of time, I'm going to say that unless Raven wants to continue this beat down, I'm going to say that you all can make it to the front door. I literally just gave them all the chance to stop running before me because I can be out the door faster than any of them. Sledge, are you coming? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, so I was just uh, waiting until everyone had gotten out the door. You can't, uh, two of you can't wait till everyone gets out. One of you has to no, go no, first. No, 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 <laughs> no, sorry. No, the reason is, is because I, I, as soon as I break 60 feet, that spell is, is going to end. So, but he's, so you know, but he is stunned. Uh, oh, cool, no. cool. So I run. Wah. The, the 60 good. is only for when you cast it to make sure he's in range. Afterwards, you can maintain concentration from a distance. Sweet. Sweet. Well, in that case, bye. Yeah. You hear hoofs. <laughs> and then Raven, do you catch catch them up? Yep. And I'll even slap the uh, the errant blue quill upside the back of the head. Yeah. All right. Roll roll for damage. Okay. He dies. Oh God. <laughs> okay. He's dead. He is dead. Oh. He geez. he he fades out. It's unmistakable that he was an illusion. Um, so you guys are, 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 are gaining new power. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are, uh, you're, you're all just outside the front door of the manor there. And Red Quill looks at all of you and says, well played. I, um, you, you have trusted me and he will again, bear his shirt open. Did I just knock my mic out again? He'll bear his shirt open and he'll say, you, you may, you may do what you must. And, and he you will, let it strike and, this time. Absolutely. And he will close his eyes. Again, plunges the dagger in. Everything around you just suddenly turns white. The, the brightest, brightest, most just iridescent white that any of you have ever seen. And kind of in the distance, you hear Quill scream. And maybe a little further back, you hear what sounds like Renacor scream. And then you are unceremoniously thrown against the table back into the tavern. And jumping to her feet is Sarah and the two guards in the room. Oh, shit. And they fucking pull their swords out. And it is the six of you. It is Quill. It is the five dead bodies from the attackers that, that you killed. And a very beaten and worn down Soren, who has been through it a bit. You just all dump out of there like fucking quarters out of a sock. And... um. And Riala, uh, Riala, um, Sarah just runs over and just fucking strong arms Soren down to the ground. She calls the guards over. They knock on the door. A couple more guards come in. And, um, they, they secure him and 
Quill is still there with the knife stuck in him. He's bent over. It's blood on his hands. And he looks up and his his eyes are clearer than they were. You hadn't noticed that they that they weren't this this pretty before, but they, his eyes are very clear. And he sees Sarah and he just kind of leans forward and 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 grabs onto her in a hug and she embraces him back <laughs> and then no one says anything at all <sighs> and then i kill him no, i'm joking <laughs> do we still get paid even though we didn't kill him uh, him he says he's pointing at sora because I can uh, do it now. By the way, uh, chat, so you're clear, that's why we were silent, because we were reading another chat going, should we yep. kill the guy? Should we not kill the guy? Are we going to get paid if we kill the guy? Like, yeah, it's, right it, it's actually it's actually pretty pretty manic, and I'm going to actually file this in a police report. Um, <laughs> wow. Well, both the headmaster and and she had uh, you know paid us to do the job. It's To kill him and done. Drink. To kill him and bring his badge. Uh, it was only another thousand gold, though. Um, uh, I'd walk over and stab him. Oh my god! It was. Uh, I'll join in. I'll plunge a sword into him as well. I'm gonna say the candle keep guards are are unwilling to let you just murder someone in front of them, and they uh, uh, stop, 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 and they <laughs> attempted just attempted murder. Stop. We were attempted, hired. For attempted this. murder. Stop. stop. Stop, Stop it. it. Yeah. And they, Come on. they they drag him out and I mean they drag him out and maybe his face hits a couple of chairs on the way out and maybe they ram his crotch into the doorknob a couple of times trying to get the door open. Um you think that he will be well cared for here. Um and um Quill has taken the taken the dagger out of his of himself and and dropped it and the wound, uh, even though it's a wound, it is beginning to to start to to close quickly, and he just looks at all of you. I I I I, I have not the words to to thank you for for what you've done. And he looks Riala at you, and he says, "I I don't hear the the constant muttering in my head, so I I hope that that you won't hear it in yours anymore either." And the, the, that that kind of constant gnawing that you were feeling in your head is seems to be gone. I I feel much better now too. The um the demi plane should should have collapsed completely when 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 you came uh, depositing anything that wasn't there. She says as she looks at the bodies and especially the one archmage who is naked. Actually, two naked people there. Who's the other naked one? Leon Goodname. Oh, yeah. yes, because you <laughs> took, took his, his clothes. clothes. Leon! <laughs> uh, and she, and she, she stops, and she reaches into her purse, and she pulls out the agreed-upon sum, which I believe was 6,000 gold pieces. Does no, anyone have uh, that in their notes? Yeah, it's... Um, I got my notes right here. It was a thousand each. I think. Right, six thousand yeah. six thousand gold pieces, and yeah. she puts that on the table, and she says, "The uh, the Harpers may be in touch for some of you in the future. You are you're quite good, and 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 you ha you forever have our gratitude. Um, thank you." And she will kind of pull Quill up. And just as she's about to leave, she'll reach into her, her pouch again and pulls out another, what seems like another sack of coins and sits it on the table. And they, the two of them walk out. Before she takes them out, uh, Narcissus will turn to Quill and go, Someday I do hope that we are going to get to play a duet together. <laughs> and so you have completed... My candle keep mystery. Not mine, actually. I just added some expansions onto it. Um, anything else you'd, you'd all like to say here at the at, at the end as a parting shot? 
Um, Sledge, well, Sledge will sort of, ah, yeah, I look over to Riala. So there's openings on several teams around Candlekeep, right? And that's the, the classic double A. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there a gym around Candlekeep? I'm sure you know. I do. I have a pamphlet. And uh, there's like markings of like seven different gyms within like walking distance. Uh, this one has the best sauna right here. Care you, to... You'll have to show me sometime. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> I, uh, I head over to Narcissus and I... Uh... <laughs> I give her back the manacles. Manacles. The manacles. And at the same time, I hand her a a copy of my key to my room. Ooh, nice. I am incredibly flustered. (laughs) And then I give my brother a hug because we lived. (laughs) Oh. He'll he'll pretty quickly give her the pat on the back, like the double pat that indicates that the hug is over. Um, (laughs) Yes, yes. And then tell her, uh, right, well, I'm going out on the town. You uh, can have fun with that one if you want. Uh, But uh, I need some time away from you all. No offense, but after repeating myself four times every time I said something for the <laughs> past couple of days, I need some quiet in my head. <laughs> Understandable. I'll see you later, brother. Raven. Yeah, Raven kind of just stares at, er- at Aerith for a moment, watching this happen in front of her, and it's just like, well, I guess it's more for later, maybe. We'll see. Um... Quill, don't forget about that drink, and everybody else, I know we still have secrets amongst ourselves, but hopefully we're uh, a little more uh, unified now. And again, good job on on getting the blade, but next time you could just ask, like literally (laughs) ask nicely. I asked! I asked! (laughs) He didn't say you could ask, he said Gin could ask. (laughs) He said Gin could ask. I usually follow the policy that it's better to ask forgiveness and permission. And also, Aerith, I, I kind of figured he's he's more of the dagger person because you had this argument before. <laughs> you got a point. She is right. You, um... You, no, you... Check what's in the bag. Uh, oh, the bag that she left? It's its the the extra thousand gold pieces that she promised for Soren's badge. Mm-hmm. Um, you, uh, you look over at the door and standing there, kind of arms crossed, is the familiar gold dragonborn of Master Sage Tomris with a smile on her face. She just shakes her head and she throws a pouch of, of what seems like coins in as well. It shuts the door behind her. And, um, yeah, you guys, you guys did it. Uh, and you got paid and you all lived and everything is great. You, you don't seem so happy, buddy. <laughs> I mean, well, as the scene draws to a close. Oh. Deep, deep, deep in that spot in the back of your mind. All six of you here. This is not over. And that's where we're going to end our stream tonight. Thank you so much, everybody, for sticking with us. I know we ran long and I apologize, but it's RP gold with these players because they are so, so fucking good. I think he knows what I look like. We we might (laughs) Thank you, everybody. Thank you, all, all of my players. This has been, this has been great. Um, Thank you for running. Yeah, yeah. definitely, buddy. Thank you for having fun. me. Yeah, this has yeah. been super fun.